far too dependent on big meaningless numbers uh but i also i do really like the seminar class and i'm curious yeah. to try out some of the other classes and uh you know if we try it out and things have to be changed to make it work we'll do it there is a variant where you don't add your level to it yeah i yeah. that is the one i think that might end up being the new gritty right like that's the one that caught my eye but i'm not ready to commit to yet right mm -hmm. good we just started fuck off of gritty <laughs> right no no i'm saying that the proficiency without level would be the yeah. equivalent of gritty over there yeah i don't even it doesn't really change anything it just makes the numbers smaller right well what it does is it makes it so that like a level one character could theoretically like get lucky and kill a level 20 boss if all the rolls go really well oh um, yeah they whereas, could get um high enough thing and their ac meets nothing. right whereas in in default pf2 if you run into a monster 10 levels higher than you you're dead like you don't right. you run or you die uh, and frankly, I kind of like that. One of the things I think I dislike about 5e is the bounded accuracy system, but we're getting, we're getting sidetracked. Um, hey, am I allowed to approach campaign three with absolutely no idea how to play? Uh, yes. Um, that is the Great. whole point of 2.5 is I, it right. is going to be. Oh, right. We're doing a play test. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're doing our, our play test crash course to learn the system together. Um, Great. but before we can do that, we got to get through this. Um, this is probably the last week before we have a big long break for MFF and then possibly Christmas after that. Uh, so we are, uh, in the interest of trying to get through things quickly, basically speed running the Pale Knight arc. Um, we'll try to touch on the things, but we are, we're going to do a little railroading here and I apologize, but we're going to try to fit an entire arc into the next like two and a half, three hours. All aboard! <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I'm fucking here for it for the record. Yeah, yeah, I've been... Yeah. been I've been speedrunning uh, all of Dimension 20's campaign so far, and yes. I've, this is kind of sidetracking, but he, he, if anyone has shown me that it's okay to railroad, it's Sprint and Lee Mulligan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 100% railroads into just del delivering a story in a short time frame. It makes perfect sense. Absolutely. It's delightful, delightful campaigns. He also understands how to have a railroad with forks where the players make choices, which is a right, 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 right. There's a difference between, like, not railroading and then, like, requiring your players to take every step. Uh, anyway, different play styles, different groups. Uh, yeah! Find what works yeah, for yeah, your yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Can let's... we get one more short rest? Uh, so, yeah, here's your first choice before the railroad takes off. Uh, when we left off, it was Thursday. You guys had just finished, I think, one short rest. Uh, and had determined that you can see the maze, and uh, Flick had used his compass to locate, uh, roughly... Um, where the the maze is, where the Pale Knight's Lair is. Um, it would be about a six-hour walk through hell. Not easy. Um, or, if you want, you can continue to rest a couple days. It's up to you. Uh, do you take off immediately, or do you continue to rest? I'm fine to keep going myself. Yeah, but again, I'm, I'm super short rest dependent. So. I'm yeah. pretty capped up, and I have um, catnap if we need it. Hot. Uh, I'm fine with one more short rest. You know, just pop a cat nap on Flurgler and then proceed. Yeah, I could do that if you want. Sure, just power sleep. Yeah, ten minute nap. Uh, yeah, so Flurgler and I will cat nap. Does anybody else want to cat nap for any like banner or anything? Because I think he gets one more benefit. Yeah. I, I would get a few rage back uh, for it, which wouldn't hurt, but... I, I could take one. I'm at five key. We, we just had a short rest, so you should have... Yeah, you should oh, have yeah. next key, yep. Okay, cool. So I would gain, like, i gain some rage points back, but probably not enough of it to really matter. Yeah. I kind of feel like either Flick or Moat should take it just to get them some extra mana. That's a good point. Flick is... has no mana. I have, I have spell slots. Oh, that's right. You're He's a full warlock. warlock. Never mind. Warlock. Uh, then yeah, I'll throw it on Moat if he's down any uh, mana, so he can get a little bit back. He did some healing, so he should be down. Yeah, some so he mana. should be down some. Yeah, he yeah. saves my ass in that last fight. So yeah, that'll also get him his smites back. So hell yeah. Okay, I have shot him a message so that he knows he has a catnap waiting for him. Um, also, I misspelled received. I before E, except after C. Uh, what a useless rule. Um, it I'm... is fully useless for record. 
<laughs> it is a truly useless rule of grammar. Uh, boy. Um, uh, delightful. Deceptive. After, uh, a short rest and gathering your things and stealing yourselves, you set off through the bowels of hell. Um, and begin to trek in the direction that Flick, uh, had pointed out with his camp, uh, compass. Uh, let me get... Uh, I believe the survival checks. Who wants to? Who wants to do a survival check? Oh, to scout, do one. Scout through hell. It's a skill that I have, but I don't usually do because Ace is so much better at it than me. I believe in you. I'll give you the help action. I don't oh, thanks. Ooh, let me add in the second roll there. Ooh, that's much better. <laughs> much better. Uh, the first leg of the journey is easy. Uh, it seems that apart from the weird little scamping monsters playing in the pools just outside, um, most of the major threats seem to stay away from this place. Um, yes, nor do Just really quick, before we, before it becomes an issue, I'm going to throw alacrity on myself and on Flick. Good call. What's that do? Uh, your initiative rolls get a plus d8 for oh, the next God. eight hours. After breaching uh, past the pools, uh, things start to get a little bit more difficult. Uh, the terrain becomes jagged and broken. The rocks are as sharp as glass in some places. Uh, there are just random hidden crevices that drop uh, sometimes 20 or 30 feet, sometimes hundreds of feet down uh, to glowing pools and rivers of lava uh, far, far below you. And to make all of this even more dangerous, it is pitch black down here, except when it is illuminated uh, by the crackling of this hellish thunder overhead, uh, or by things that are just randomly on fire around you. Which happens fairly often because creatures uh, swirl and swarm uh, in all directions, sometimes just breathing flames on things uh, for shits and giggles, it seems. Um, imps occasionally kind of wander by in packs. Um... Earthquakes and tremors shake the ground every few hours. Um, but through all of this, uh, Norda with a 30 does an incredible job of uh, moving cautiously, uh, finding safe routes to take, uh, avoiding some of the larger creatures that kind of uh, begin to travel nearby, um, managing the use of light to kind of guide the path and then putting it out when it would cause danger or draw too much attention. Uh, and after about five or six hours of travel, uh, and a few close brushes with some large demons, um, you find yourselves reaching, uh, what looks like the edges of a labyrinth. There is a ring of these kind of thorny red bushes, uh, and there's a nice gate that leads through the bushes, uh, and that gate leads, uh, to some stepping stones, and the stepping stones lead into an enormous, uh, stone maze, uh, like a hedge maze. Um... From here, uh, the maze appears to be well, maybe 25, 30 feet tall. Vasu, with a quick, you know, fly up there, you can see over it. Uh, it goes on for a very, very long time. You can see the far edge of it, but it looks like it is probably uh, maybe even like a mile wide. Uh, something in the ballpark of a mile in diameter. This big circular maze. Uh, and importantly, you don't see like a castle in the middle of it. You don't see a portal or or any sort of indication that, like, there's something hidden within the maze. Um, although you do see occasional just, like, domes or little towers, or uh, it's weird, there's, like, a, a, a ship in one spot. Um, there's, like, a little open area with a farmland in one spot. So there are uh, there are points of interest throughout this mage, but no one big obvious fortress in the middle of it. Uh, Am I drowning in damned souls? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so for the Kuato in the party... Um, yeah, actually, give me, give me a perception check. You have absolutely no noticed, <laughs> just while traveling, um, there are souls flitting around all over the place. Um, some of them are just kind of these free-floating ethereal spirits that are still looking for a place to go. Uh, many times you notice them kind of lurking in these primitive fiends. These souls are kind of starting to take on form, uh, and transition from just a wandering daemon into a moving demon of sorts or a fiend or can, an angel can i send them like you know <laughs> i don't know how to do that you could i am kuatoa very religious <laughs> you're kuatoa, you're very religious the problem is where we where are you sending them to? nomad domain 
No meta. Okay, moving a soul. Give me a religion check before I. You're going to know <laughs> yeah. this. Let's see how good you know this. Okay. You know it pretty, pretty well. bad roll. <laughs> moving a soul from one god's domain to another god's domain is the domain of gods. It is it is difficult, and it's the sort of thing that they like barter over. Um, gods bicker over souls for sure. Yeah. Um, Don't want to start shit between. It, that. Yeah, it, it would be bad. It's a little bit of an issue of like you just don't have the power to do it. Although there have been rituals that have been done to like literally snatch souls from one place and send them to another. Um, usually, Ceremony. Usually, it's <laughs> done with the help of a god that's trying to steal that soul. the The bigger issue for you is that like you would start pissing off some demons or some gods or, or whoever owns a claim to these souls in the first place. Don't want that. I'm not even a holy man. Just a herald. <laughs> With uh, 23 perception, though, um, you sense and hear uh, a tremendous number of souls within this maze. Uh, almost as soon as you step in, um, you can... you Not saying you step in. When you would step in, there's like this, this veil of souls uh, that are just swirling around inside of the maze. Uh, and actually, with the 23, you would probably notice that uh, you sense souls being drawn into the maze, and then as soon as they get close... Um, you've seen the video of the deep sea crab being sucked into the pipe. Oh, right? no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. These souls, when they draw close to the maze, you watch as they are whoop, pulled in and gone. Just completely gone. Uh, this maze Great is heroes. This maze sucks. <laughs> Can I check for any sign of uh, tracks or other signs of comings or goings, either of people trying to navigate this maze or of dangers within? Sure, sure. Give me a survival check. Like, sucks very hard. Uh, 25. There are hundreds and hundreds of tracks going in. Uh, with a 25, you can confidently say there are no tracks coming out of this entrance. Um, not any time in the past several years. Some of these tracks are fresh, some of them are old. Uh, no tracks leave leave it at any point. Do we have a way? We, we figured out a way through this with the maze eye. Right, I think. I think we talked about it. I don't know if we ever ironed that out. <laughs> we had do we time. Have, do we have the maze eye like description handy? Where's that? Yeah, yeah, let me see if I can pull it up. I believe it's in Gale's inventory still. It, it was yeah. so dense, I could not pay attention <laughs> as Flurgle. I need Moat to be here to give me music. I know, me too. <laughs> try to find something on Spotify. I'll try to look for something too. Me too. It's just a Pan's Labyrinth soundtrack. Basically, yeah. Oh, that'd be a good one, yeah. Is the, like, I don't know, castle, keep, palace, whatever of the. Pale Knight, a location that we're familiar with, based on your definitions of familiar. Oh boy, uh, let me go pull this up. Let me stay consistent to my house rules. I know I did oh, a ruling on this at some point. This doesn't yeah. even matter. It says as long as it's within four hundred feet of you, and we're further away. Oh, this thing's you. a mile. Here, I got you guys. I don't trust this link. I'll try to show <laughs> that I don't trust it. I'll still uh, click I don't on either. It. I'm very afraid. <laughs> yep, I was right. Okay, I'm not to trust yep. it. <laughs> Pickle surprise. <laughs> pickle surprise. This is the year of my birth, by the way, 1989. Happy birthday. It's the year of his birth. <laughs> he doesn't get extra happy birthdays. Take it back. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ Almighty in heaven. <laughs> has some serious Tim and Eric energy. I assume that that's roughly what uh, the locust looks like. I hope not. They do. I hope that's exactly what he looks like. That Gaspiro looks like the pickle surprise guy. <laughs> Voss is going to kill himself and he can get right into C3. No. 
So I can have Toto attuned to the eye. It's just that I don't know how useful it's going to be. Because I imagine that this maze is magical, so we're not going to be able to port through it. Right. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, oh, y'all might have me get this eye. That's true. A yeah, question? We, we, used, we used it to get through that other maze, though, which got us the chart, right? Oh, yeah. I guess that's uh, a question. And the ship. And the ship. How, how many of you are resistant to fire? Well, that's, uh, a of me. that's a lot of us. I didn't think we had that many. Yeah, how many of us are resistant to fire? Because it is hot. Three, four. There's Only about three of us. Gail, can Only... you make yourself a various suit? No. I, I mean, can... I could, technically, but I didn't choose those attunements during my level up process, so. Right. Um. For the three of us, I can get us some sunblock. I don't think sunblock is going to help us here. It will. This one will. Wait, we have sure, got... sunblock? <laughs> yeah, sunblock. It's SPF 666. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I got magic eyes. Oh. <laughs> so I can summon three of these and three drugs. Th three drugs? Oh, wait, your drugs. I forgot about your drugs. Yeah, my drugs. The question is which drugs? See, that's the scary part. So there's the Soothe Salts. Let's you see into infinity. There is uh, the Black Sap. Makes you not afraid of anything. That, the, the charm thing. Yep, I, I kind of want that. You want that? Okay, I make yep. two of them. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Stop it. Don't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, take one. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You have to stand next to Mott, though. <laughs> just... Let's do drugs! Oh boy, I gotta just con save, too, though. Yeah, that, you that's stand go next well. to Mott. <laughs> yeah, the problem is the con save. Or you'll be poisoned! <laughs> oh, that's actually not a problem right now. I forgot that I'm not me. Yeah, you're an angel man. I'm an angel oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're angel man. Oh, you don't need this. <laughs> I don't think you can be charmed anyway, I don't think. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, you can't think you can You're a solar, right? Or a planetar? Planetar. I think I don't think they can be charmed. Uh, they're not quite as good as solar as I remember that. Right. The black Those are crazy. helpful for me, though. Would you like? I'm, I'm immune to the poison part of it. Oh, That's yeah. Cool. Okay. And being charmed down here would kind of suck. Ah, oh, <laughs> I guess you're right. I, I'm going to make... Three Marusa bombs and three Black Saps, which is the limit of things I can make. All right. Can I hold on to one for the instant that I'm not this anymore? I can chug it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How long does it last? What these six hours? I'll take this Black Sap right away. Yeah, I reckon. As soon as we uh, go into the maze, that seems like a good idea. Yes, I think once we walk into the maze, I'll probably <laughs> do that too. Yeah, let's also apply sunblock to the people who don't have. Say, so I don't have fire resistance, so if I get yeah. some sunblock. Here. No, no, do you want me to get just rub it in your shell? Here, <laughs> you can put this on him. Oh, I actually don't have it right now. You don't have fire resistance? And not as a planetar. I don't think I get to keep mine. Strange. That's a good point. Because mine's. Uh, Racial, so I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to put sunblock on yourself? Probably. Okay, let's do that. Sunblock on you, and I'll put sunblock on myself. So, uh, that's Nordo and myself with fire resistance currently for one hour. And Flick has just the, the bomb. It takes a minute to put on, mind you. Oh, does it? Yeah. So that, you want to put it on now or later? 
Like, Dude, you can't no. slap it on... Uh, yeah, you can't slap it on in battle. Unless right. everyone used their hands and did it together as a team. Oh, the, <laughs> the bomb will do now. Yeah. The black sap is the one that uh. I can just... Be smoked or injected directly into the blood. <laughs> yeah, injected. <laughs> Did you have the way to inject it? I, I was gonna smoke it. it. Oh well, I can't smoke <laughs> it in battle. Oh, well, it lasts six one d six hours. All right, one to six. This maze might take hours. more than one d six hours. Well, we'll try. I'll take mine now. It just rubs it on his gums. <laughs> Give me a con save. Yeah, standing next to boat. Ooh. Uh, immune to fright and charm for I have to roll one d six. Are we doing our drugs now? Two hour, if you want. It's pre game. I could do it now. This is how I buff people with drugs. Uh, maybe I should do it now because I have the con the the. I won't get poisoned if I do it now. <laughs> Ah, duh. I only rolled two. <laughs> what item, uh, what icon do I use for mental protections? Follow your heart. I think there's a brain on there, maybe. The brain. I'll use the brain and I'll put two on it for two hours. Alright, you get yourself good and high. Does anybody else do any protections? I'm gonna like hold off on that until we decide exactly what we're doing, or because we just are we gonna walk through and try to navigate this maze? Because looking here, it doesn't look like anybody ever once has come out. Maybe there's another exit. Okay, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I haven't done for probably like 16 levels. All right. <laughs> I'm uh -huh. gonna use my background feature that specifically gives. Let me look up what it is actually specifically but it's it's that thing that like gives me it helps with like survival checks and oh, like, yeah, making maps, maps on things yeah. that i've looked at before so i figured i'd just like do a flyover of the maze if nothing tries to you know kill me <laughs> oh be careful they suck it sucks souls at least i currently got this song playing it's not super hellish but it's tense. I forgot what background it was. Outlander? No, I think it's like cartographer or something like that. I think it, I think it is Outlander. Yeah. Um, you have an excellent memory for maps and geography. You can always recall the general layout of terrain settlements and other features around you. And... Um, I'm into this. Uh, okay, you can start doing a flyover. Um, give me... I guess give me a survival check. I can't help him while he's flying away, right? Uh, no, not unless you have... Like, if you, no. <laughs> if you can tell me how you help him, I'm all ears, but to help somebody, you have to be able to help them. Um, I feel like... With the telepathic connection and the ability to see souls, I can tell them danger spots. Um, where the most souls are being sucked on. That sounds terrible, but you know. Yeah, I don't think that will contribute too much to what he's doing right now. That's fine. Uh, right. Twenty is fine. Twenty is pretty good. Um, so you get a rough sense for kind of the overall layout of this thing. Um, there's no way with a flyover that you could memorize the whole maze. You could potentially take days and days and days to start drawing a map if you wanted to. Um, however, with a 20, you start to get several notions. Um, first, this maze changes. This change happens all the time, all over the maze, and very quickly. You watch as walls morph and change right in front of your eyes. Uh, you watch as entire features just it's bizarre because you, you look away, you look back, and they're not there anymore. Um, and it is stark and obvious to you that they were there and are not there when you look back, even though you didn't see them disappear. Um, there are actually several moments as you're flying around where you kind of look around and the maze seems bigger than it was a few seconds ago. 
Uh, when you first fly up, it looks like, oh, it's about a mile in diameter. But as you spend more time flying over this maze, you start to look to the horizon and you can see, like, oh, the maze goes 20 miles that way. It wasn't doing that a second ago. Uh, and then you kind of look away and look back and it's back to normal. It's just a mile diameter. It's a circle. Um, however, there are some things that remain consistent at all times with this maze. There are seven key points, seven domes that are evenly spaced around this circle. Um, it's hard to tell what they are. They're just big stone domes, like hemispheres, that the maze occasionally leads to, and they're evenly spaced around this this circle. Um, that is really the only consistent detail that you can get, but with the 20, you're very confident that the maze changes, uh, and it changes more the more time you spend in or over it. Okay, um, with my uh, detect magic and maybe like uh, an arcana check which would be a long shot for me specifically sure does it seem like the maze is actually changing or that's some sort of like warding thing for outside observer right. um uh from a distance you can give me an arcana check if you want to get close enough to do detect magic you need to drop within 30 feet of it and that's up to you uh... nah dropping 30 feet while i'm flying just like above it alone seems like a bad idea so... all right noted 18's not bad, though. Does Vasu ever observe the change as it's happening, or is it only when he looks away and looks back? Um, occasionally he will see the walls changing. Uh, major features coming and going, he never observes directly. Um, okay. So, like, the farmland that I talked about earlier, he'll look over and see this, like, sprawling farmland uh, with wheat and corn, and then he'll look away and he'll look back and it's gone. Um, but he will watch with his own eyes as a wall just, like, forms out of nowhere, or, or an angle changes, or something like that. I'm going to um, ask a question that I have zero doubt Ace would ask if he was here. Does absolutely. he see anything with his true sight? Uh, with his true sight, um, Ace can definitely see uh, kind of like the the forms of several of these spirits that are flitting around, and sev including several that are trapped in the maze. Um, even from the entrance of the maze, like he can immediately just peek around the corner and see, oh, that's an illusory wall. That stone's not real. You can walk through that stone. Uh, there are definitely illusions in there that he can see. Um, and Vasu with an 18 and Arcana, um, it's hard to tell, I mean, there has to be magic involved, right? This is definitely supernatural. Hard to tell the exact school without getting close enough to investigate. Uh, however, you do, uh, at many points you hear the sound of stone shifting and shaping. So, you know, if it is an illusion, it's a pretty powerful one. Um, and it's very likely to be transmutation because you sense actual physical changes. And a clarifying question that you probably said in the description, I just missed it. Is this like a hedge maze? Is, this, is it stone walls that it's made out of? Uh, it is stone walls kind of in the shape of a hedge maze, but made from stone instead of plants. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, I Clearing say hedge maze, hail. mostly just in the sense that it's like a, a big 20-foot tall garden maze. Right, right, right. I was envisioning like plants this whole time. Yeah. That changes things. I thought it would be made of like teeth and gums. Why is that? We are in hell, huh? I guess I didn't know there's a special number of teeth in hell. That's where all teeth go when you die. Mm. <laughs> Why do you think the fairies want to get them all for power? Hellish power. Is there a place that is like high up nearby that somebody could like observe this place from? Um Hello. Yeah, so theoretically, Vasu could just keep flying overhead. Um, Somebody that is Vasu. I'm trying to think. Somebody who can't fly. Sure, give me, I guess just give me a left check. Let's find out what Hell's layout is like. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There, uh, so this whole thing is kind of sunken down into a valley, right? So there are some gentle slopes to the north and east sides of it, and that's kind of the direction that you guys came from. Uh, but then there's a big old cliff that overlooks it along the southwestern edge. Uh, probably a couple hundred feet up. Uh, and in theory, somebody from up there would have a good vantage on the whole thing. Um, it's close enough that they would be able to see uh, people in the maze in, like, the bottom left corner of the, like, quadrant of the maze. Um, which does include the entry that you guys are standing in front of. Uh, but there are definitely places in the maze where they can't see the people inside the maze. Depends on, like, the angle That's... of viewing, right? Right. That's fine. As long as they can kind of see the maze. I would 
I think I know the answer to this, but I'd be remiss not to ask. Are there any, like, beasts down here, like non, non-fiend animals? Um, there are not. No, it seems to be exclusively fiends. Okay. Uh, fiends and souls, I should say. Right, 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 right. Uh, how close is the slope to us? Um, you guys just came down it. The slope is, like, right behind you. Uh, the cliff, you would have to walk for, I don't know, 20 minutes to get down to the cliff. Okay. And that would include, like, going back up the slope enough that you ended up, like, on top of the cliff. Right. How long do you guys think we could... It'll take us to get through this place? Shrug? If we if we go fast, do you think we could do it in an hour and a half? No. <laughs> Twelve minutes tops. <laughs> we just go straight through it, right? What what's the goal? Center? Or other side? Sounds like there's seven points that are like of interest. Yeah, I can't so. can't really tell what's in it even though. Probably have to find, go to all of them, figure out uh, who didn't murder the farmer, and then once we go to all of them, we'll have figured it out. I bet it was the duck. <laughs> Man, this maze show would be a lot more helpful if we had a map. Yeah. Yeah, no, Star Trout's not going to do that. My bad. What? What is Star Trout used for? Well, it was another way to get here. It was through the astral plane. Mm. We didn't end up doing that, so... Yeah. Well, it's, it it'll still be good to have, because theoretically, if it's a map to here, it'll also be a map back. Right, and notably, presumably, it is a safe map through the astral plane to get back to the material plane from here. Right. Uh, the map displays the shortest, but not necessarily the safest route. So it's not completely safe, right? Uh, let me this. The maze I had a similar clause in it, too. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, totally right. I lied straight to your face. Yep. So, okay. A portal. Uh, so my current theory is that if we have if I leave one of my constructs up on that hill watching the maze it'll change less if it's being observed okay like that thought it's a Schrodinger's maze kind of it's like my mom always said a watched maze never changes oh I get it so it's like a pot, pot of water won't bowl if you're watching it it's true. I understand this metaphor now. Why does your mom say these things? <laughs> yeah, Valsu, why would your mom say these things? She's just got all sorts of wisdom. I don't know where she gets it from. Fortune cookies. If y'all can think of any sort of experimentation that you want to try with... Uh, three flying uh, crustaceans <laughs> they are at our disposal <laughs> and rarely worth an action for me to summon and this is the exact sort of heroic endeavor that they were born for really <laughs> it's essentially how they earned their place in the heavens was <laughs> batshit yeah. stupid ideas yeah I just I mean, if the maze is constantly changing I don't think that sending anything in as like a scout is gonna help us well, they can fly, but if you want to like fly to the middle and drop in and see if they get fucking vaporized or something, just so, I we think know, we, so we know. I think we all know that that is going to happen. Or do we know one hundred percent though? We are speed running. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. There are tiny little devils and demons. Can I go over, grab one, and just huck it into the maze, like over the wall? <laughs> 
Uh, just grab it. You, you roll yeah. a 17 luck, sure. There's some tiny, pathetic little imp that, like, you're able to just grab and huck it. Well, I mean, over the wall is a tall ask. You're a kobold and it's 30 feet tall. But you can I'm all, all help. real straw. Uh, to quasit. Sure. You they can fly. Give me, give, me some, give me an athletics check yeah. between the two of you. Oh, some adventurers. Goes. It sure is an exciting first day on the job for me, Squimbo the imp. I'm going to make a real go. Wait, don't put me down. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You watch as Scrimbo the Imp flies over the wall, uh, hits the edge, but it would be a let if it were tennis because he tumbles over to the other side. Um, you hear a scream kind of fade as he falls down onto the other side of the wall and then uh, <laughs> you don't see him again. But does Vasu see what happened to him? Uh, yeah, sure. Vasu <laughs> can kind of follow all this. You... <laughs> Yeah. You know, I just throw a gun without actually seeing what happens. Sure, yeah. Va- Vasu, Vasu hops into the air to observe what happens during all of this, and you watch as Scrimbo the Imp tumbles to the ground, and for a few seconds just kind of splays on the ground, and then he eventually picks himself up, dusts himself off, and he starts to look one way, looks at the entrance that he just came through, looks down the other hall, starts walking that way, and you watch as he just starts to walk off down one of the corridors of the maze. Oh, he doesn't just leave. I wonder hmm. why. Tricky. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's not that bad. When did we get this pearl of fiend repulsion? It's so cool. We've had it a while. We got. I don't like it because it doesn't do <laughs> great for me, but. <laughs> right. I think that might have been. But the reason that we weren't using it. I was just looking through our magic items and trying to find something to help with this conundrum. The only thing that I feel like there's an idea here, but I can't think of it, is the boomerang of returning. I don't quite know what to do with that, but it feels like there's something there. So do we have any string? Okay, I have an idea. What you got? Um, Use the orb. I will kind of just like fly overhead for a little bit and see how long I can keep a beat on Scrimbo. Okay. Um, sure, you follow Scrimbo for a while. Um, it takes him maybe 20, 25 minutes before eventually he, uh, finds himself in a corridor that leads to one of the stone domes. Uh, and when he kind of realizes that, you can see he looks down the corridor towards the stone dome. Uh, and when he realizes that that's over there, you watch as he kind of picks up his pace a bit and he runs over. And then he goes into it. There's a little uh, heavy metal door that he pushes open with his tiny little scrawny arms, uh, just wide enough to squeeze through. And he closes the door behind him and goes into that dome. So it looks like you we can all just fly onto one of those domes and touch down there. I'm going to try to cast a message on Scrimba. Sure. Why not? What do you send? <laughs> hey, what's in there? Aren't you one of... Hey, you're one of the assholes that threw me in here. Wouldn't you like to know? Go fuck yourself. I had nothing to do with throwing <laughs> you. No, fuck you. I know you. I recognize you. You're no, you're no fucking devil. It's fair response. <laughs> why don't you... Hey, why don't you come in here and find out, huh? Why don't you open the door and let me in? You watch as the door swings open. You see this tiny little imp poke his head out the door, look up to the sky, he's got this sneering face, and he, like, spots you, and he gives you the bird. Does a 23 hit him? <laughs> uh, what's the range on that? Do you get within 30? Uh, it's, it's, 100, well, it's 120. It's 120. Yeah. But also, this is that uh, sling from forever ago oh, that I never use that, like, changes yeah. the... It changes them into seeds that seek their targets around corners. Yeah. <laughs> he pops out, he finds you, he gives you the bird, and then this sling seed comes flying down, beans him in the forehead. <laughs> you see he closes the door real quick and retreats back into the dome. Awesome. Did you learn anything? He told me to go in there and figure out what was in there for myself. Well... I don't he really res- blame him. I mean, he responded, which is good. 
Yeah. That means he's probably not like under some terrible mind control or something. Why didn't he just go back out? Well, I threw him over the wall. But he saw the end, the exit. Did he see like the exit or just like the a, a different path? Presumably, you guys threw him like not far from the entryway instead of just throwing him through the entryway for some reason. Um, yeah, it, and... I threw him over the wall <laughs> somewhere that we couldn't see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the easiest way to put it is he he had a short known path to just walk out of the maze, and he instead chose to walk into the maze. Okay. Yeah. Why? That seems telling. I don't know, maybe the maze doesn't let you back out. Maybe that's part of the whole changing thing. Maybe he couldn't see the exit. Good thing we have Ace and drugs. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we just kind of go in here, we'll be fine. Because we have True Sight. Which is... Good enough for me. All right, you guys go in. Yeah, I'll at least like step step through the threshold and see if anything <laughs> happens. Uh, all right, do you have uh, you have charm protection? What did what what did you do ahead of time? I have not done any drugs, but I am immune to fear. You're immune to fear. Ah, uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. No. Um, people, I think there's another banner we have that makes people immune to charm, as long as we're close to each other. Uh, Ace oh, does right. have to activate it, it lasts for an hour. He can do that if you want him to. Before we enter? Uh, Nordo yeah. has already entered. Uh, so yeah. we'll see what happens to Nordo first, real quick. Yeah, we'll see what happens to Nordo first. Nordo, as soon as you step in, uh, you hear a scream that sounds familiar. Uh, you hear Leah's voice coming from deeper within the maze to your left. Uh, she calls out your name. Help, please! Please! Oh, boy. So I know, like, I already failed the wisdom set. Can failed. I do, yeah. like, can I do, like, an insight check? Um, you, or does you, that, you do I just start can. running? You absolutely can make an insight check. Uh, it is definitely her, for real. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess he starts running. All right. Can we, no, 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 can wait, we see no. Nordo? Absolutely. You watch him okay. step through, and then he hears something and uh, immediately he's, starts running. He's yeah, so much faster than me. I'm going to step into the maze and uh, pull off the eye patch and hit him with the hunter's mark. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, are you immune to charm? Sure not. Give me a wisdom saving. <laughs> Ace activates his banner at this point. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm going to talk up real quick. <laughs> You're going to take the drugs? <laughs> it seems wide. Yeah, okay, go. Uh, Gale is no stranger to charm and to manipulation and mind control. You can feel hundreds of whispers in your mind the second you step into this place. You are able to resist all of it. You are well practiced against it. Uh, but it is now very obvious to you what has happened to Nordo. Uh, you're able to call back and Ace will activate the banner for the rest of you. Uh, you throw a hunter's mark on Nordo. Um, he's still running. He's yeah. very yeah, I mean, if I... I, I'm just doing it so that I can track him because sure. he's going to outrun me without issue. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So I don't I... know the extent the extent to which I like control Nordo right now, or if he's just like if he if he goes if he's like. Are you I, I think... control? What would Nordo do? So uh, even if Nordo heard Leah and was like knew that she was in this maze, he still I think would like wait for his friends, or at least be like, come on guys, we gotta go, people are in trouble in here. For sure. For what it's worth, it sounds like an urgent, like, she's being flayed alive and you need to do something right now, but it is still reasonable to, like, yell for your friends and wait for them. Yeah, he'll, he would at least, you know, like, well, let's go, come on, I hear Leah. Right. And, like... Does Toto need to make a save? Uh, is he immune to charm? Oh. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, then he is fine. He probably feels... I don't know, some weird tingly sensations from where the eye was installed a long time ago, but that's just kind of residual. He's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm riding Toto, and I'll try and keep up with Nordo if he starts to take off full sprint or anything. All right, excellent. Um, Nordo, as soon as the group regroups with you, uh, the, the screaming stops. You don't hear it anymore. Uh, 
might think the worst when that happens. Yeah, no, I I don't know that he even like like waits for everyone. He just like starts running and keeps occasionally looking over his shoulder to make sure he can still see them. But with with that, I mean, as long as he can still see somebody following him, or at least hear somebody following him, he is booking it in the direction that he heard her. For sure, for sure. Um, very quickly, uh, you start reaching branches and forks, and without the continued screaming, there's almost no way to know which way it was coming from. Um, it becomes very clear to you that you have entered a maze, and you're not entirely sure where you're supposed to be going. Okay. Um, eventually, the rest of the party kind of comes up behind you. Uh, and I guess the question is, where are you guys going? What are you doing in here? Where, what are you looking for? You all heard that, right? No. Not a sound. Mm -mm, no. He just started running. It was it was Leah. I know it was. was Ozymandias must have done something. He was pulling her out of me the other day. He must have sent her down here somehow. She was this way, I know, but now there's all kinds of turns and twists, and I don't know which way to go. Nordo, take it from me. The, this plane, they, they mess with you and make you see things, hear things that aren't really there. Give me a, they, uh, give me a persuasion check. Both of both. They manipulate you and get you to do what they want by scaring you into doing it. That's what happened with me and my mentor a long time ago. I didn't mean to, but uh, here's persuasion. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Lord! <laughs> wow. Perfect. You have a plus fucking 12 to this. I do. That is the lowest I can go. I don't know what kind of fool you take me for. I know my own sister's voice when I hear it. Then we just have to go find her. We're all in here now. We will go save your sister. All right. How do you guys proceed? Do you just kind of wander aimlessly? Do you... Uh -huh. uh, Ace would tell you with this true sight, this place is riddled with false walls, illusions. Uh, it's up to you. Do, you. do you favor going through illusions? Do you try to avoid illusions? What is your plan? Um, I have a quick question about the description on my snake eyes thing. Sure. Uh, it says... Well, it's just the second part. It, it has a clause about uh, there being an unobstructed path that can be drawn between me and my target. Does, if there's not, like, for, for instance, a door closed between me and... and I forget what I call him. Same. Um, Scrimbo. Scrimbo. Does that, does that mean that it, when I throw this seed it just falls to yeah, the ground or does it still try okay um i'm gonna try messaging him again <laughs> uh you have a very good sense for general locations you kind of know the approximate direction where he's at uh what do you say hey i'm really sorry about earlier can you open up the door i want to make amends i got a present for you what's the range on it with the evolving cantrips uh, i think it's like 500 it's pretty good I think it's like 300, maybe. Let me check. Yeah, it might be 300 or 500. Can't recall. While he's looking that up, after Flurgle talks Nordo down a little bit, I'm going to attempt this. I don't know if it works. Yeah, it's 300 feet. Woo! Yeah, you have a stillness of mind! Hey. When you activate stillness of mind, there is... Uh, a sudden clarity, a sudden realization. Uh, and in fact, you start to hear other whispers. You hear more whispers of Leah. Uh, you even start to hear whispers of uh, your mother and father's voice who you have barely heard. Uh, and it becomes very clear to you that you can hear them. They, they feel real, but they are hollow. They are imitative. They are... You're being manipulated. Okay. Uh, and it is almost certain that you were uh, a moment yep. ago as well sort of calm down, center himself, to pack some tobacco in his pipe, and then just take a big drag. And say, sorry about that. I... This place got in my head quicker than I expected. Sorry no, no. That. That's sorry okay. That. Vasu, with your good understanding of the general layout of things, 
You know that the closest dome, the one that he went into, is only about 150 feet away, uh, but you don't get a response. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my two pieces of rope, uh, tie them together, and then like chain them to everyone in the party who wants a piece. Excellent. I like it. That seems wise. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Uh, we have a big 100-foot rope tying us all together. Oh, okay. It just kind of... It's not going to, like, be tied around our waist or, or wrists or anything that would be, like, you know, not easy to cut or remove, uh, but just, like, kind of looped through a, like, belt loop or something on okay. everybody and then tied at two ends. Understood. Does uh, anybody uh, secure the belt or the, the rope in a way that is, like, more secure than that? Or does everybody do the belt loop trick or something like that? Uh, he just, probably puts it through his suspenders. Okay. I would imagine whoever is at the the front and the back have it actually, like, tied to them as, like, the anchors. So cool. I'll probably, like, take the, take the front and then... Yeah, I would recommend Nordo at the front and then Moat at the back. Yeah, and, and Ace voice. in the middle. Perfect. Yeah. He's got the forklift so we can just tie everything to him. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, yeah, um, there is a point as you're tying it where, like, off in the distance, you guys see from in here, one of the walls behind you just starts to close, and a new one kind of, like, opens up a few, uh, maybe 20 or 30 feet away from it. Um, you are these can see walls firsthand the maze change around you. Are these walls are all of like a uniform height, and roughly what is that height? Uh, about thirty feet, and yes. All right. Um... <laughs> time for more bad decisions. Uh, I guess I'll ask the party this time, since Nora just got himself in trouble. Anything preventing us just climbing up the wall and walking on top of it? Uh, I'm not going to try that or flying up myself yet, but I will just try, like, slinging another rock up there to see sure. if, like, there's an invisible wall or yeah, something. you sling a rock up there and it goes up and over, and kind of what you would expect. There's no invisible wall or anything that catches it. Just saying Breath of the Wild style, where there's that one island that's supposed to be a maze, but you mm -hmm. can just walk around on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try it. I'm going to, like, monk shit, like, wall jump my way back and forth to sure. get up to the top of one of these walls yeah. and see if I can just climb on top of it. Yeah, um... Do you, are you literally able to run up walls yet, or is that higher? Yes, level? I can. Okay. I can actually run up uh, walls. Then yeah, no check required. You just kind of get a running start uh, and uh, hoist yourself up three stories vertically uh, and are able to get up on top of this wall. You look down below, and you can see the parties right behind you. Uh, and you can actually see, not too far away, uh, a quick little sprint, uh, one of these big domes, about 125, 130 feet to your northwest. Okay, cool. Like, well, didn't... Uh... It feels it feels fine up here. I can see one of them domes Vasi was talking about. Just for the record, I imagine Nordo uses earthy magic to just make himself some like hand holds to climb up the yeah, wall. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's good. Cool. And it seems fine up here. I, I don't see any danger or nothing. Do I? I guess <laughs> perception check. Yeah, I can do perception check. Sure. I'll get the spyglass out and take some careful looks around. I'll get the spyglass out actually and specifically look at the dome and see if I can see what's in it. Sure. Uh, 27. You check out the dome first, and what you see is just a stone dome with a heavy iron door leading into it, currently closed. Um, it is really hard. Like, you can't see inside of it. It's hard to say. Right. Um, although it is at least 50 feet tall, uh, it is taller than the rest of the maze around it. Um, looking around for danger... There is no imminent danger, nothing has noticed you, but it's very obvious that this maze is filled with other things, and some of those things are violent. Uh, you hear screams, some of which you're sure are fake, but some of which you're pretty sure probably real. Um, and you can see, like, gouts of fire and scratches along one wall. Uh, you can see a burst of ice coming from deep, uh, kind of far away on the other side of the maze. Uh, there are... there are encounters happening within this maze elsewhere. Right. Expect we might be a little more likely to be seen up here instead of down there, but also maybe a little safer up here than down there. Maybe. We don't really know what we're looking for exactly, though. 
Yeah, it's also true. I don't see enough of it. it looks like a a castle or a palace or a, uh, I don't even know what sort of thing we're really even looking for. What kind of place right. does the Pale Knight live? Do I know that? Did we ever figure that out? Was um, figure out the knowledge check at some point? Boy, right? you could give me a religion check and I'll give it to you at advantage because it's a thing you're pretty studied on. Okay. Uh, 19 is actually pretty good. 20 if you're not proficient. Um, you're uh, not, not, so that's 20. Um, you've read a lot of uh, text describing the Pale Knight. You know that she lives in um, this enormous maze-like structure, uh, but that her true lair is underneath the structure, um, and that there are gateways hidden throughout the maze that lead down to it. Uh, some accounts say 17, some accounts say 13, some say 7. None say 10, though. None say 10. There was what? 13, 7, and how many? Uh, 17, 17, 13, and 7. 17, okay. We saw seven of those domes, so. Oh, that seems likely then. Or a possibility, anyway. Seems a little obvious for her layer, but. One way or another, it seems right like there, the. Just <laughs> say one way or another, it seems like there our next step. I don't see anything else that we could really go toward here. Yeah. Right. Y'all want to come up here? I can hoist you up. Well, probably can't bring the forklift or Toto. I could I could throw Toto up. So it only flies. flies under... So forklift flies. I think it Doesn't does. he have to activate a thing or something? I think it literally he, just has a hover speed. He couldn't use it last session or something. He did though. He was um flo flying ten feet above. All right. I'll That's how I walked underneath him. Sure, yeah. Pretty sure it has I have no clue how it works. Speed. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up, but I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah. He oh, he has. It's in his inventory. Yeah, he can move up to forty feet in any direction, including upwards. Okay. Yep. All right. Um. To... It's a feature for. <laughs> Uh, fly. To speed through a little bit, you guys are, one way or another, able to get everybody up on top of the wall of this maze. Um, you do notice as you're gathering more people up here, uh, Nordo keeping watch for danger, uh, off in the distance you start to notice little, almost like gargoyle or imp shapes, shadows, uh, staring at all of you as you climb up onto the wall. You see beady red eyes that begin to gawk and watch and uh, maybe even plot from a distance. You've drawn attention by being on top of the wall, but nothing is acting yet. That's... Are there a lot of them? Uh, at first, it's like four or five, but the longer you wait, the more that seem to just crawl up from the wall and look. Ah, uh, there's 15, and then 20, and then 40. Hmm, maybe this isn't the best idea. I think we could lose them wanna... if we used uh, Ace's uh, shadow magic thing. We'll pass that trace. We could try it. Doesn't help you hide in plain sight, though. Yeah, I guess there's not a whole lot to hide behind on top of a big wall. Yeah. Maybe just we move quick then before they get much more time to plan. Yeah. Okay. We right. make haste. Uh, towards the dome, I presume. Towards the dome. All right. The dome. Is 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 the one that Scrimbo ran to still the closest? It is. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, as uh, you turn and begin to make haste towards the dome. Uh, all of these lurking, watching figures spring to life and begin oh to chase. Maybe we should get off the wall. Uh, Too late now. They are far enough, and you are close enough to the dome that you think you could outrun them, or you can try to drop down into the maze again. It's your call what you guys want to try to do. The cats are already um, out of the bag now. We gotta just hustle. All right, I'm all right. going to cast as we're making haste toward the dome. Continuing to do that, I'm gonna cast fog clap behind it. <laughs> Excellent. We need skyright stat. My I'm favorite gonna... part about fog cloud is that imps and devils can see through magical darkness. They sure as shit can't see through magical fog. That shit's broken. <laughs> I'll also toss out one of these while we're going. All right. And then yeah, but this toothpaste is already out of the tube. I think we better just hurry. All right. Uh, yeah, be because I get this specifically from Jarl and it being the, the like, ice gene weekly thing, 
I do imagine that I just like take a big gust of I, I take a big breath in and then like breathe out some really cold wind that then just steams up because it's hot as fuck down here. Hell yeah, I love Dope. it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, all right, um, let me get an athletics check from everybody. Um, the DC is being lowered by this fog cloud. Uh, several of you have movement uh, bonuses, which will make your DCs lower. Uh, D4 is all around. Uh, you get D4s all around. These are good. These are good. Uh, let's see. They get everyone. Oof. Okay. All right. Um, you guys begin to book it. Uh, and very quickly, it's only 120 feet or so. Uh, sprint over to this dome. Uh, presumably drop down to the door. Uh and open it up and who goes in? well I guess uh, Nordo is at the lead right? yeah probably at the way yep uh, Moat at the back uh, you begin to pull yourself into this room and as soon as Moat gets in at the very tail end uh, slam the wait, door wait. shut uh, before, yes, before we all commit to going in I'm gonna sling in one of these and scrub up <laughs> see if it flies through the door <laughs> as soon as the door cracks open Vasu slings the seat in uh, and you watch as it takes a normal trajectory it kind of hits a wall and bounces off as if it didn't find Scrimbo Okay. Uh, and sure enough, as soon as you get inside and take a look around, there's no sign of Scrimbo at all. Um, the... Can I drop ball bearings on my way there? Sure, sure, absolutely. You drop some ball bearings behind. Uh, Just outside. The room at first is dark until you pull the door closed. And when the door closes, the entire dome lights up on the inside. Uh, you find yourself in an enormous dome, about 50 feet tall. Uh, the floor of it is bright white. Uh, it seems to be almost like marble that is lit up uh, by itself, like self-illuminated marble. Uh, the, the dome itself uh, appears to be made of mirrored glass. You look up and you can see all of you guys tethered together by this rope, uh, looking up at the, the dome and then back down to you. Uh, and because of the domed curvature, there's like a little bit of a weird magnifying effect that's uh, a little disorienting at first. Um, the only other thing in this dome is the one door that you entered through. Uh, and seven statues. Need more sevens. All right. Um, I'm gonna post these all at once, and then I'll read through them real quick. Uh, I hope this isn't a puzzle. God, I'm not doing a puzzle. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> I'll do it. Thanks. I'll have fun. I'll help. I'll have fun too. You have ten minutes. Yeah, speed run. Uh, speed run. Evenly spaced around the dome, you see that there is a glass sculpture of a nude woman in a seductive pose. There's a bone sculpture of a skeleton. There's a cotton-stitched mannequin, uh, kind of huddled in a wool blanket. Uh, there's a polished iron statue, uh, a mirrored silvery statue, uh, and then a golden statue. Uh, and each of them is kind of doing different things, and I've written full descriptions over there. There's the marble statue, too? Uh, yeah, there is a... Um, oh, yeah, the marble statue as well. Sorry, I missed that one. Uh, do we see anything else in this room? Uh, give me perception. Oh, uh, hell. Nothing else. It appears to be almost sterile. Uh, it's this plain white floor, the mirrored dome, the one door that you came in through, and seven statues. Uh, Norda, taking a closer look around, the only thing that strikes you with a 28 is... Uh, you don't see it at first, but the more you linger in here, after a minute or two of studying these statues, you start to see things out of the corner of your eye through the mirror. Uh, you start to see shapes, and then you turn around and they're not really there. You see eyes, or you feel like something is looking at you. Um, and after a while, it goes from just like, oh, I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye, to, oh, I straight up see a, a reflection of, of somebody that's not there. Uh, you see... Uh, <laughs> You see three me's, the ogre, staring at you through the through the mirror. His faces are kind of aghast. His hands are pressed against the glass. Um, and then a few seconds later, he vanishes. Uh, you see Tabiki Whoa. at one point banging on the glass at the top of the dome. And then he disappears. And this, there's a there's a mirror in this dome? Or are you saying the dome itself uh, the is dome, mirrored? The dome itself is mirrored. Okay. Yep. I'll, uh... Did y'all just see Tabiki? It yeah, takes a little longer for a, a bunch of the rest of you to see it, but depending on your perception checks, eventually you would start to spot these things, too. 
and then Nordo not being the one for puzzles. Uh, I'll just wait by the door and like listen for the sound of anyone like approaching to come attack us. Sure. Those people that were chasing us down. Absolutely, give me a perception check. Um, you go to the door to the, just kind of wait for a moment with the 28. Uh, the first thing that you notice is there's a very cold draft coming in from under the door. Oh, weird. And it wasn't cold at all before, right? Uh, nope. It's actually pretty warm. Is there enough, like, under the door that I can look under it? Uh, no. I'd have to open it. You'd have to open it, yeah. Vasu, these statues are magic? Just about to ask, do I detect different kinds of magic or any uh, magic at all in the different statues? Abjuration on all of them. Uh, there is a little bit of evocation on the iron one, and a little bit of necromancy on the... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, which one is that? Uh, mirrored one. The, uh... The air under the door, this is going to sound crazy, but the air coming in under the stores is cold. Not at all like where we just came from. I'm wondering if we're already somewhere else. Oh, good. And he lays down at the door to just cool off. <laughs> it is. It's a little bit of a chill. Can I... I have a, a little, like, silver hand mirror. Can I take it out and look at the statues in it? Absolutely. It's, like, over my shoulder? Yeah, you kind of look over your shoulder. Um... There's nothing that you don't expect, although you do find that uh, the weird visions you saw in the mirrored dome, you start to see in your hand mirror after a while as well. Can I just crack the door ever so slightly open and look outside? Absolutely. Uh, you cautiously crack the door open uh, and are met with like a little bit of a bluster. Um, you find yourself... Uh, you're clearly still in the labyrinth. You can see walls of stone off in the distance, but it's like a little opening, almost like a, a garden uh, or a courtyard. There's a pond in the middle of it that's frozen over. The whole thing is covered in snow. Well, you did it, Gail. You solved it. We're here. Well, that was boring. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to try just like... I'm going to close the door again, and then wait a couple seconds, and then open it again. A totally new area. This time it just kind of looks like a labyrinth, but not the same hallway that you came in from the first time. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's just a magic door. Do you think if we open it enough times, it'll just take us there? Open it seven yeah. times, see what happens. <laughs> I was going to say, that's enough for order. I'll keep opening it and closing it until something cool shows up. <laughs> you kind of keep opening and closing it. Um... Give me an insight check. You're a smart fellow. Or investigation, but I think your insight's better. 100% not a smart fellow, but I will <laughs> <laughs> roll an insight check. I don't like that turn order popped up. I think it's because I uh, yeah, accidentally I clicked a button. Oh, uh, okay. 30. 30 is very good. Um, at first, it just seems to be random locations, and then you start to see some repeats after a while. And then after a good long experimental session, it seems to be seven different locations that you're kind of randomly picking from every time you open and close the door. Well, I think every time the door opens and closes, it just leads back to a different one of the domes. Okay. Is Thank there... Is anywhere. Do the statues have any, like, buttons? Are they pushable, movable? Um... Give me an investigation check. Uh, let's see. Terrible. Glass? Uh, no, but the cloth is separate and could potentially be moved. Bone? Um, the jaw? Uh, the jaw of the bone sculpture seems to swivel as if it was made to, like, for the mouth to go up and down. Um, the cotton mannequin has what you would expect from a mannequin. Uh, the joints all move. Um, so it can be posed. Iron, totally solid. Mirror, totally solid. 
Uh, gold, totally solid, but the chest that gold is holding seems to be fully functional. It can be opened and closed. And marble. Uh, the crown can be removed. Everything else is solid. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try removing the cloth. Uh, placing a ration in the mouth of gluttony. Uh, lay down the mannequin. Uh, I'm going to interject here. Nothing happens when you remove the cloth. When you put a ration into the bone skeleton, um, there is a rumble. Uh, and Nordo, standing right next to the door, watch as it disappears. Um, if possible, it waits until you look away, and then you look back and the door is just simply gone. Um, but if somebody is watching the door at all times, and it sounds like you probably were, uh, it just disappears in front of your mouth as soon as Gale feeds this ration to the skeletal thing. Um, and then you hear a crack. Uh, behind the bone statue, you watch as the mirror, uh, shatters. It splinters like it has been hit by a rock. Um... And all of you can see uh, where it splinters. Uh, it's almost like a fog is lifted, uh, like you can see through one-way glass. Uh, and all of you see a feminine figure um, wrapped in uh, this thin kind of ghostly white sheet. And you see these bright crimson lips that smile. And then she pulls back away from the mirror and kind of vanishes into the ether. Uh, you move to the next one and lay it down, and the same thing happens again. The door is already gone at this point, uh, but another crack forms behind that mannequin. Is what's beyond the door one of the seven places that I recognize? Uh, the door at this point is completely... It's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah, just being like, is, is the space beyond the door one of the seven places? That... Oh, I should or, be clear. Just the wall. door is replaced. It's, it's just a wall. Solid wall. Oh, yeah, a solid mirror okay. wall. Okay. That makes sense. Well, we're locking in, friends. What has been done so far? Uh, far. Gluttony and sloth. Uh, I'll throw some paint with much hesitance and regret. I, I throw some gold into the chest and close it. Um, how much? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> If you need gold, you can ask. I have 100 gold pieces. Um, thankfully for you, it does not take that much. Uh, with about 90 gold pieces, the treasure chest is kind of filled up to the brim. Uh, you close the lid, and there is a the, the mirror behind that statue cracks. You call that greed? What the fuck is wrong? That's a lot of money for a lot of people. You might be replacement for statue one day. Do you want 90 gold for that? No, that's okay. I'll cover it. All right. Um. Um. Do you still have that maze eye? Yeah. Can I borrow that? Yeah, I'll hand it over. I'm gonna put that in the hands of the weird eye lady. Interesting. Uh, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. Uh, the uh hands clutch around the maze eye, and the mirror behind the statue cracks. Can you get the maze eye back? Probably not. Why? Sure, I, I want it. <laughs> uh, what all is left? Which ones do we have? We done? We've done lust or pride. Uh, can I, take I throw the a condom at lust? <laughs> I need to take, take the, the cloth <laughs> off of lust. I, I did already, but didn't do anything. Um, can I take the cloth off of lust and put it onto pride and put it on the put the crown back on? Um, you can, nothing happens. Balls. I'll, uh, no, it's not this smart, but I'll do it. I'll just, like, clean off Pride, like, clean all the dust and, like, polish it. Oh, that's right, he was dusty. Yeah. Um, as you finish dusting and getting all the grime out, uh, this one takes a while. This is a good, you know, 10, 20 minute chore. Uh, presto! As, there you go, with a little presto. presto. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> over and helps out with presto and as you wick away the last bit of grime the whole thing sparkles and sheens and the mirror behind it begins to splinter and crack uh which just leaves 
lust. Oh, fuck it. Plus <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> <Don't fuck> it. <laughs> it's made of glass, that would be difficult. Uh, there must be a hole somewhere. That one bothers me the most because... I release glass. the strawberry and quick all over it. <laughs> uh, That's a joke from before the stream started, everyone. <laughs> A minor illusion, just a ton of dicks around. Oh, I've got it. Does she have? Is there any place <laughs> I can put something on her? Is yeah, her sure. mouth like slightly open? Uh, can I just can I just take one of the glass cock scales and <laughs> hand it to her somehow? Someone just give her a kiss for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'll do it. He spritzes some freaking, uh, you know, some mouth. <laughs> Those mint things in his mouth. He's like, Mwah. Surrounded by illusory dicks and with her holding a glass cock scale, Flurgle kisses her on the mouth. Uh, the mirror shatters. Uh, everything goes dark. Ah, oh, there's glass everywhere! Help! You hear the <laughs> shattering of glass and the tinkling as it falls to the ground, and then you all fall. Uh, suddenly. We uh, didn't do breath. Wait, what? what, what, what we did didn't do breath. Oh, you're right. Hey, you, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. You did a tally I, earlier, and I, yeah. yeah. I... I'll bite my finger and smear some blood on the fists. Hey, perfect. Um, ooh, interesting, though. I do need a constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. That's fine. Okay. It's my best save. Oh, for tetanus. Uh, you do take half. God, I rolled piss. Still good. Enough. You take two points of lightning damage. I rolled a four. <laughs> um, as the blood smears, there's first a crack and a spark, and Gil has to kind of like flinch and pull his hand back as he takes two tiny little baby points of lightning damage. Um, but then everything goes dark. The mirrors all around you shatter. Uh, and then you feel yourself suddenly, like the floor is pulled out from under you, you begin to fall and fall. Um, and then things slow down. They begin to come weightless. Um, you can see the tinkling glass above you starts to just suspend in space almost, and twinkle like stars. Um, you see a sun begins to emerge in one di direction. Uh, sweeping uh, energy begins to kind of pour itself across the sky in another. Um, and eventually you feel yourselves being lowered down uh, into a place that feels immaterial. It is You are no longer in a, a place where time and space make sense. Uh, surrounded by these spinning sharp shards of mirror and glass. Um, and as you kind of land on this platform, on this broken surface, uh, that it also seems to be made of mirror and glass, um, Flick is the first to spot in the distance, uh, a figure, um, a somewhat familiar figure, uh, of a demon, or a tiefling man with these, uh, kind of golden horns that pull back, this pale yellow skin, uh, and Plague Fisher looks to you, Flick, and says, you are early, and with your whole body intact. Have you come to deliver yourself, or should I take you by force? Uh, force is good. <laughs> force it is, then. <laughs> uh, fucking sick. I'll pull you over here in just a second. Um, but he will... I thought it was gonna be Scrimbo. <laughs> <laughs> I smash a Pokeball in his face. Um... It's um, not working! It's funny you should mention it, because as you say that Force is good, he snaps his finger and three gouts of flame uh, burst up as he summons some demons to help him. Oh, oh cool. is it Charmander and Squirtle and Bulbasaur? That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy, Zeke. I would never do that. I would risk so much copyright. This is a Pokemon! <laughs> Blessed be the fruit. Oh my god, wonderful. Sorry for openly calling them what they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's on okay. Twitch. They don't, they don't actually give two shits. Um, you guys are scattered around here. You are not all in one nice place. But I like that because I don't want to get breathed on. Joke's on you. Oh, why'd you have to put me next to the oh, to no, Bulbasaur clone? The dinosaur. Peace. Oh, he's here for some reason. Oh, shit. Whoops. Grabbed the wrong, wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. Back. Where the fuck is there? He is. He comes back with. Some tea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Do you guys want a Jaeger moat nice, or you just want to have them do a fight on the side? How do you guys want to handle that? I they mean, can fight Pikachu on the side. Right, they're yeah, they can fight Pikachu on the side. Fight Pikachu. Or they can both fight Pikachu and Eevee. They get one each because, yeah. 
Has it been less than an hour since we entered the maze? Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys we kind of speed run the maze. Yeah, yeah. We did literally <laughs> speed run the top of the maze. Yeah, we literally ran on top of it. All right, let's get some initiative. Let's do this shit. Everyone add a d4 and flick also add a d8. Okay. Why are they Pokemon? Because it's secretly important, Flick's entire deal was that it was a secret Pokemon reference. Demons that we never got to deal with. <laughs> Demons in this campaign are Pokemon. Keep up with the deep lore. <laughs> okay. Oh no. That's so slow of us. It's you. You're the 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 master. <laughs> the champion. To sip, I at least beat the tortoise and the dinosaur. So I think we beat all the Pokemon, all of us, except Posse. All right, as the Hellions spring to life, Flick, you're the first to act. Wait, Bossy should be the ten with his D4, right? No, it was a it was a four before I reroll. Uh, here, here, wait. Yes, I see. I see a seven there. Oh yeah, it would be a ten. Uh, so it is. Ah. It doesn't change your position. But it does make you a 10. Go before Rollies. the Rollies for the Plague Vision. Fine, I'll allow it. Let's do it. Rolly! Allow it? That's just rules as written. No, partner. it's not. Rules as written. The DM decides when it's a tie between player and monster. But I'm so fast! Uh, is this a D20? <laughs> yeah, D20. Uh, I thought that was Mossy's for a second. Our... No, Flurgo goes before me. Unless you can roll a 1 first. Uh, I can, <laughs> I can try roll these. Look at Gale. Almost a twenty. Almost number two initiative. All right, Flick, you're first up. Okay. Uh, so we're. Is there a ceiling here? Um, or... no. It seems to okay. be uh pretty much free floating. It is worth mentioning. Um, anywhere where there's this sharp, jaggy glass, that seems to go up for a very long time, and it's like okay. swirling sharp glass. You don't want to go through that, even if you're flying. Okay. Fine, I'll go attack the dinosaur. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, let's see. Here, have some of these. Woo! Oh my god. Uh, yeah, those are both... Big fucking hits. How are you doing this? Oh yeah, you're a planetar. Planetar, so I get the actually very big attacks, right now. And then it doesn't oh. specify I have to use the planetar's weapon, so I'm using my weapon. Holy fucking Christ! Uh, well that's ninety. Uh, sorry, more than that. Ninety six. It's uh, yeah. melee, so I don't get the oh, uh, that's right. compass on it. Uh, I would if I cast a spell first. How? Ah, uh, yeah, this uh dark green-skinned lizard-like dinosaur with plants growing off of its back uh, turns to you and starts to let out this just like low, almost gator-like grumble. Uh, and then you come up and just start cleaving into it. Um, ooze and sap begins to pour out from the wounds. It seems that the whole thing is made of plant. Uh, anything else? Um, nope. All right, uh, let's get a legendary action from Mr. Fisher. Um, yeah, it's got to be you. Uh, you have cover from the, gla the glass, uh, but he is going to uh, send this whip. He unfurls his whip that is uh, laced with shards of obsidian um, towards you, Flick. Uh, you have plus two to your AC from cover. I think a 30 still hits. Uh, yep, it does. All right. As it sinks in, uh, there is a crack of lightning that runs down the whip towards you, and then I need a strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, all right. You take 25 points of slashing and lightning initially, uh, and then you were pulled through the blades to Plague Flasher, uh, and I need a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, I should have seen that coming. Okay. Against 15 points of slashing, uh, you do have that down to 7. 
Uh, or nothing if you have evasion, but I don't think you have evasion. I don't. All right. Uh, that's his legendary. That brings it to Flirtle. Um, also, I'm still a planetar, so I should be a size larger. Oh, yes. Good call. Which means I'm standing in the glass. That's great. Woo! I'm pulling out a 20-foot cube just to see what a 20-foot cube looks like. Oh, uh, shit. Where are they again? <laughs> Other cubes are structures and objects, uniques. No, no, no. Uh, utilities and effects? Radicals. Where are they? Oh, there is reticles. Yes. 20 foot square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there any way I can get three of them in this? Uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, um, I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire. And as a waves, whoops, it popped out instead. What's going on? There you go. Yeah, these like ethereal waves of water kind of wash, wash over everyone. And they've got that like glowing blue algae all over. Hell yeah. Plague F Fisher succeeds. Uh, and the other two uh, both of them that. fail. Yeah. Yeah. And bonus action. What can I do as a bonus action? I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking disengage just in case. Uh, so real quick before you move, what? Oh. Uh, as the fairy fire settles around the tortoise, you watch as the shells of its yeah. uh, back uh, momentarily flash with a mirror-like sheen. Oh. Uh, even with advantage, what does that mean? Oh, okay. Um, but you do see that it seems to at least have some tricks to deal with magic. It didn't work in this case, uh, but it reacted to your spell. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a bonus action, fucking. Why would I disengage? Ah, I have oil. I. I imagine the Hellwing Drake is immune to fire. I can throw it up to forty feet. So I'm gonna go. This week to fire. Which one is ranked to fire? Bulbasaur. <laughs> I'm not a master Pokemon! <laughs> Wait, you have to know the starter trifecta, though. That's I like... do, but Flurgle doesn't. Okay, alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm not meta gaming! In world, plants are weak to fire. <laughs> yeah, that's a plant, right? It's a healthy dinosaur. Uh, can I throw through this? Uh, you can, it'll just have cover. Okay. I can move. I've got 40 feet, uh, 35 feet of movement. Uh, was I over here? Let me see how far I can go then. With 30, 35. Yeah, with 35, I can go here. And then I can throw it. My, my, take my special move. Ah, 14. <laughs> Uh, 14, unfortunately, just misses. This thing is very slow and lumbering, but you managed to still just get it batted away. Damn it! Let me subtract one of my oils. <laughs> That's it! That's me! Alright, next legendary. Um, he, uh, begins to cast a spell. You know what? He's a big guy. I'll try and counter spell it. All right. Just a regular. All right. Give me a check. You're looking for a 15. <laughs> That'll fucking do it. Uh, you watch uh, for a moment as wisps of this kind of noxious yellow gas begin to trail out from his fingertips. Uh, and you stop that shit uh, before he's able to do anything with it. And that'll bring us to Gale. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, activate uh, activate my weapon. Then use my movement to pop out Toto. And we're going to 
just shoot the tortoise. Um, this thing is covered in fake protective scales, and you find all the right seams. Two shots uh, go straight to its weakest points around the neck for 44 points of piercing damage. And I will uh, just run up to it. Alright. Uh, anything else? Nope. Uh, that's it. Alright. Uh, Plague Fisher uh, is less legendary. Are you in range? Shit. I just out of range? Can he move? Oh, it's legendary. Legendary. Um, well, he wouldn't drag you through glass, but I think it's still worth doing. Um, he is going to try to pull Gale off of Toto with a whip attack. You have uh, cover from being behind the tortoise, which means that is effectively a 15. Uh, just misses. Uh, Alright, that brings it to Norda. Okay. As a free action, I'll be really, really upset that I don't have any lightning or fire or water attacks. Yeah. Uh, I will... You have advantage on these, at least. I know I do. Uh, I will uh, <laughs> get out of my shell, because I hate falling. I was in my shell for the whole fall. Taking the surroundings. Draw the axe. See what looks like a fire-breathing dragon in front of me. And I will charge up behind it. I should probably stay a little further from that glass. Uh, I will use a bonus action. Rage. <gasps> a rage? I know. I know. Crazy. I have I have one rage left, guys, and then I will have zero rage points. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I'm saving it for the Pale Knight. Pale Death. Whatever your name. Pale Knight. Pale Knight. Wrong campaign. Uh, okay, that's my bonus action. I will use my action to make some attacks. Bring it. And by God, I don't even have to Reckless. Sorry, I put in the rage damage. Woo! Uh, 33 slams in for 18 points of slashing. Would a 19 have hit? Uh, it would have, so he is also knocked pro. And a strength save, please. Oh, he... Uh, second attack. Actually, on that first attack, let me get a con save. I wish you wouldn't. Oh, he is stunned. Fucking hell. How delicious. Second attack. Actually, fuck it, he's stunned. So I'm going to take a step up with Fisher and do the second attack on him. Oh, this doesn't have advantage, though, which is very sad. Oh, wait, it, it, oh yeah, no, it doesn't. Uh, 19. Uh, 21. 21 is good. 15 points of slashing damage. Uh, strength save. He's good on all that. Uh, that is my action. Um, I think I'll hold on to the old action surge. I will make that one a... Hold on. A goading attack. So he takes an extra five points of damage, and I need a wisdom save from him. He's good on that. Hell no. He looks at you as you try to draw his attention, but he is fixated on Flick. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, that is my action. That is my bonus action. I don't really want to move, so that is my turn. All right. Well, How did he know I was me, by the way? Uh, great question. 
process of elimination. <laughs> true sight. Combination of, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of options. True sight seems very reasonable. Um, and actually, okay. you would know, because you are literally currently an angel, um, angels frequently have the supernatural ability to, like, automatically know if they hear a lie. Uh, yeah. It is very common for powerful angels and devils to have similar abilities to suss out the truth, including true sight. Okay. We never lied. No, I have true sight too. Huh, I forgot. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of things you see, it is worth mentioning now that it's the Hellwing Drake's turn. Um, all of these are exactly what you would expect. I'm not going to pull any punches here. However, uh, they are all completely pallid. They are pale skin. Um, just these these chalky versions of what you would expect. Ooh, that's cute. Um, he takes five points of necrotic. He takes five points of necrotic, and uh, he's stunned. He doesn't do fucking shit. Sure and they're shiny, too? Oh! It's the oh. So, actually, in X and Y, there was a glitch when it first came out. <laughs> when Pokemon came out of their Pokeballs, sometimes the color wouldn't load. Uh -huh. So they'd be pale, white, weird, gray colors. Ooh. Oh! Yeah. Huh. Uh, anyway, that brings us to Vasu. I'll, I'll raise my eyebrows at Vasu with a look that says these things are stunnable. <laughs> I'm going to run up on this bit. I'm going to whip him with my lightning whip. Uh, it bounces off of the shell. Dang. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You had two seconds. The advantage already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, um. yikes. You have a D4. Yes, you can throw a D4 in there if you think a 21 could do it, or you could save it. You do, you. Hey! 21. <laughs> Just cracks through the shell. Oh! Points of magical Ooh. slashing damage. Uh, then 2d6 lightning on top of that. Uh, and wouldn't you know it, <laughs> he seems <laughs> to really not like that lightning. Hey, I'm so happy. Give me it's already a... 2d6 in the dancing storm. Is that not it? I think it's I think it's an extra one on the first attack I do of it with a turn. The oh. one that I mark him with. Uh, and then you said a con save? Yeah, I'm gonna try to stun him because I stun my Nordo gave me the ways. I need him. Nordo gave me the eyebrows. He's fine though. He's good. Is this um, like the par paralyze for Pokemon? Uh, I'm gonna try hitting him again. Cha, more like flinching. Twenty six is good for another fifteen. Uh, he's got two stacks of lightning on him. Um, I'll try another con save. Good, good. Burn your key. <laughs> Break yourself upon my body. That was close. That was close. Yeah, not close enough though. Um. Well, I've already burned enough key, so I'm not going to flurry, but because I spent key, I can do my bonus attack with a weapon, so I'm just going to whip him again. Uh, that is good for another 23. A third stack of Stormbound. Don't like it. I do. Uh, and the, I think it is the the 2d8 that are in there are the light, or 2d6 are lightning. Oh, uh, excellent. It's, so that's another slashing. eight. Yeah, it's slashing and lightning. And another four. Alright, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna just kind of pivot around here. I don't want it to attack me, but I also don't want to be so close to the whirling shards of glass. Alright, sounds good. Uh, let's have some fun with Mr. Fisher. Uh, Five Mr. Fisher, uh, with the whip kind of pulling you in close. Is this really what you want to do? Aren't you willing to be grateful for what your mother did for you? You should be proud you get to live in a wonderful place instead of this hellhole. Um... He takes five necrotic, and he is incapable of healing, right? Yes, he cannot heal magically. God damn it. 
Sure can. Uh, so for the record, I don't know what kind of healing he was considering. I think natural regeneration works. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Let me see here. True. I'll copy things. No, 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 actually. Oh, wait, yes. Uh, what would that actually do? I'll copy it. So, I don't know if this is magical healing or natural regeneration, but if it's natural, he can do it. Hell yes. Uh, you do see the, that some of his wounds begin to close. Uh, and then he's going to try to bite you. Oh boy. 28 for 30 points of piercing. I mean, by hard. Uh, what's our proficiency right now? Mm, Six. Nope, that'll hit. Um, yeah, that'll still hit. He will use his claw attack to try to disarm your sword, because fuck that thing. Uh, so okay. I need either acrobatics or athletics, your choice, against it, a 25. Are those, is this magical piercing, by the way? Uh, let me double check. I think he has magic weapons. Yes, he, these do count as magic weapons. Okay, even his teeth. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I think because so, you're larger than him, you have advantage? That might be true, I'll check. Here, I'll pull it up for you. On the dip, the disarm, I'm just gonna use my reaction to parry him away with it instead. Um, so, uh, it's not an attack against your AC. Uh, you have to roll either athletics or acrobatics to hold on to your weapon. Oh, I meant the claw. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, the, sorry, the, oh, the he's using the claw to disarm you. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I rolled the claw attack to figure out the attack roll. It's his attack okay. roll versus your athletics or acrobatics. Right. Okay, so I can't do that. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You have advantage, though, because yeah. you're bigger than him. Okay. Uh, you're good. Uh, Woo! You're able to hold on. Just barely. Um, but I don't take that damage, though. Uh, you don't take that damage, correct. Cool. Um, that makes him upset. He is going to just yank the whip back, which causes the obsidian uh, to just tear. Uh, 30 points for another 18. Or, sorry, 28. Cool. 28? Okay. Uh, 28 points of damage, and you're already next to him, so you don't have to make the strength save. Cool. Um, that brings us to the healthy dinosaur. Dinosaur. Um, it is going to start to lumber forward just a little bit to about here. Turtles are its natural prey. True. I am also weak to grass damage. That works. I did not know that. It's just a very fortunate vulnerability to have because there's no grass damage in D&D, but if there were... <laughs> <laughs> um, the first thing that it does is... How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Let's get that going first. Let's play it smart. Uh, a pair of seeds uh, begin to push their way up through the bulb on its back uh, and then fling themselves out. One towards Flurgle and one towards Nordo, both with disadvantage because they're ranged. So first Flurgle, disadvantage. Uh, 16 to hit. Oh, just misses. Uh, and one towards Nordo. Uh, 14, I think, also misses. misses. Thank goodness for disadvantage. Um, Truly. A is going to look towards Flick then, uh, and with a flick of his neck, uh, this razor sharp leaf uh, flies towards your throat. Oh man, it's also part Chikorita. Does... Uh, that'll miss. Damn it. Gotta hit something. Um, when all of that fails, uh, he is going to shake uh, just a plethora of these razor sharp petals from its back. Uh, and they begin to swirl all around it in a 20-foot radius, which I think will not get Flurgle and not get Gale and Toto. Um, that Flurgle is safe. Gale and Toto are safe. Uh, everybody else, I need a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, Petal Blizzard. It's fancy. Uh, on a success, you take God damn. 11 points of slashing. Good fucking lord, guys. Calm down with those dex saves. <laughs> Nordo and Vasu don't take any damage, take, right? Yeah, I take nada. Uh, so is it dex takes 11 slashing. Uh, this is non-magical, yep. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> Resistance anyway. <laughs> Can the planetar wear a cloak of protection? Uh, yeah. Don't see why not. Okay. Uh, alright. That brings it's more like a cravat. To, uh, the tortoise. It takes a bunch of lightning damage. It sure Sorry. does. 32 points of lightning damage. Fucking hell. Don't like that. Uh, all right. First thing it's going to do is withdraw into its shell and begin spinning rapidly, surrounded by this icy water. Uh, and as it does, it is going to spin in a path that kind of loops like this. Uh, Toto, Gale, Vasu, Nordo, uh, and Flick. I need strength saving throws. Real uh, quick. Yes. When it gets to there, ten feet away from me. I'm just gonna try to trip him up. Uh, this does not provoke opportunity attacks unless you... Sentinel? Uh, I'll double check Sentinel. That probably works. Yeah, Sentinel would work. Um, I don't see why not. Uh, with that said, he never... Like, he stayed within five of you at all times. No, it only... Sentinel only works if you, like, take the disengage. He didn't take a disengage. Uh, that is true. He also... I think the bigger thing is he just never left your range. He wrapped around like that. He, yeah. He got more than five feet away, so I could... I don't know if I can, like, choose which breach I attack with. I don't know if he, he did. He's large. He went like this. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It looked like he got down there, but yeah, if he's large. Yeah, then... he's yeah, he went like that, and he is large. He takes okay. up three whole tiles. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, all right, you're looking for a 19 on the strength save. On a failure, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage and are knocked prone. Uh, and importantly, yeah. as he emerges from his shell, you see that the lightning is gone. Oh, what the hell? that's the power of rapid spin, yo! Fuck your setup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I appreciate that. I hate it, but I appreciate it. Uh, he's then going to turn to Flick and Skull Bash you. What? He gets two. He gets a lot. 21 for 27 bludgeoning damage. If Pokemon could just use three turns of move, <laughs> three three moves yeah. every turn, sure. <laughs> uh, sick. I don't want that. 27 points of bludgeoning. Okay, nice block. Good block. Uh, and then finally, um, a pair of... Uh, how do you even describe this in a reasonable way? He shoots water at two of you from <laughs> pumps. I don't know. His eyes. Their eyes. There we go. Really Their eyes. His nostrils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a pair of these icy cold uh, eye beams uh, lash out one towards Flick uh, and one towards Vasu. Flick first. Disadvantage. Twenty-four. I think might still hit. Uh, yeah, because that's just for one attack, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Fine. Uh, so 23 bludgeoning, and I need a strength saving throw. Meanwhile, Vasu, uh, 14 probably misses you. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh oh. Flick is pushed back 10 feet again through the glass, and I need a dexterity God. saving throw. You have this a spike is... set up, you bastard. It's a spike set up. <laughs> Six okay. points of slashing damage. Uh, is, is this a thing that I could? I could turn back at him with this, absolutely. Like, you're you're an out for elements monk, and this is a water ranged attack. I will absolutely allow does it, it. Does it have to hit me? I will let you do it on a failure. It's okay, cool. cool. I'm into it. Give me a strength save from him. Then. Uh, you do oh, have to. Push. You do have to like roll the attack at him, don't you? Oh yeah. Uh... It's the same as all your other monk weapons, but. Just do. The... Yeah. Is she an unarmed one? Uh, that'll hit. Um, he does seem to resist the water. I figure. Uh, but he needs a strength save. Yeah. Oh, he almost fails. Ooh. Uh, that would have been really bad. He would have blown himself into the spikes. Alright, that brings us to the top of round, and... Oh, wait, I need to use legendaries. Uh... Plague Fisher spins two legendaries and begins casting a spell. 
Uh oh. Again. It hasn't been my turn yet. So I don't get my I don't get the camera spell. Uh, What's he do? You <laughs> how cheesy do I want to get with it? Um, as he conjures the spell, you see this little um, purple and white device in his hand that he spritzes on the tortoise. Purple and white. <laughs> Who recovers a whole I... bunch of health? Oh, okay, I thought for um, a moment he was going to throw a master ball at me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, for I forget what the colors are. Is that a hyper potion? I believe it's a hyper potion. Um, purple will be hyper. Yeah. The spellcasters among you would know that this is probably just a a weird way of casting the heal spell, but it sure looks like a, a hyper potion. It's like an artificer did. Um, you also know that this. In dueling terms, Moat would know that this would make him a filthy cheater. Uh, flicks up. I mean, we knew it was coming. It was a trainer battle. Yeah, it's a trainer battle. No, he's a champion! Oh. We know that's what champions do! Uh, Planetar can only cast Healing Touch on other creatures, right? Do yourself as well. I think you can do yourself. Okay. The description says Planetar touches another creature. Oh, weird. Okay. Then, yeah. Oh, then, yeah, all the others. Okay. Weird. Um, well, this can go on other creatures. You think you can make some distance? Yeah, in just a second, but I gotta do this first. Woo! Oh, gross. I'd like healthy dinosaur to give me a deck save, please. Hey, you'll never guess what he's extremely bad at, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god. <laughs> that counts as a spell, too, so we do get the five damage. Bonus damage. Oh no, because he was. Well, I missed the oil. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> My compass is active. Compass, oh, your yeah. compass. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, 10, 14, uh, 19 of that is fire, doubled up to 38. And then another 12 radium. And then 5 force. Uh, and then 5 points of force damage. Um, <laughs> didn't expect this to come up. You. Do you see that some of the radiant energy seems to linger on the fringes uh -oh. of his leaves? He's going to hyper beam! The solar beam. <laughs> Fuck. Don't use radiant on that. Uh oh. Uh, however, the flames are rapidly eating away at big chunks of his body. Okay. Well, that's fun. Um, yeah, Plague Fisher's gonna resist that or absorb or be immune to that, so I'm not gonna hit him with it. Or Nardo, for that matter. Um. Oh yeah, you could, for the record, you could drop that on Plague Fisher and the Tortoise if you also catch yourself with it. It's a big radius. Oh, it's I can catch foot. myself. Yeah. It's ten foot. Yeah, I could do that. So, your call if you want to do that. I can hit. make a DC 20 deck save. So, you put it on me, I can make it. I got evasion and uh, danger sense. I have advantage and I take nothing if I succeed. Oh, and you still have fire resistance, which I don't. Yeah, so and I'm resistant to fire, yeah. yeah. I'll put it on Nordo then. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, let's see it. <laughs> oh my well, god uh, I still take half beef? I take half and I'm resistant right. so. uh, and I'm raging so I'm double resistant if that's a thing um, it's like three damage. there is no such thing as double resistant don't forget that okay. it is both fire and radiant so split that it's, damage half and half also, I'm done. It's half. it doesn't matter either way because I'm raging okay gotcha Yeah. Uh, and then don't forget the five force damage uh, meanwhile okay. plague fisher right. at least you're half <laughs> uh, does fail um, he is immune to the fire, but he does take 12 radiant and 5 force for 17 total. Uh, and Nothing. importantly, you can see that his wounds don't seem to be closing up from that. Aha! Okay. And then Mr. Tortoise, uh, first of all, we'll use his Oops. reaction. Huh? That's fake news. Ah, That's no, fake news. No. <laughs> in fact, didn't take any damage. I just lost 10 HP. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, sweet I don't like that. Uh, as the beam drifts over onto the tortoise, he watches the mirrored sheen of his scales uh, causes the entire beam to just fling up uh, towards you. This is bullshit. Actually, replay <laughs> shit. <laughs> and I do need a, another dexterity saving throw. Well, you already targeted yourself with, didn't you? 
I targeted no. Nordo with it. Okay, well now you need to make the dexterity saving throw as the beam is flung up well, towards yourself. It's fine. <laughs> you take half of it. Does, does he re-roll or does he use my roll? I uh, just use your roll. Okay. And then take half of whatever that damage is because he saved. Okay. All right. And you're resistant to them as well, right? Uh, I think I'm resistant to the radiant, but not the e. fire. Nordo, how much damage did you take? Because I took I, no took, eight. I took eight points. All right. Anything else, Blake? Uh, no. Yes. I'm gonna get over here. He can try to hit me if he wants. Damn it! I was just about to get you. I <laughs> can't get you. I can. Yeah. That'll be it, though. All right. Damage. Well, since you've gone and done that, he will instead use his last legendary. To teleport. No! Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. Hello. At least he didn't uh, put himself on the other side of the spikes again. That will bring us to Flirtle. Uh, one action. Conjure these. Excellent. Bonus action. Tangler grenade! Alright, where's that going? Over here! Perfect. Uh, hitting the dinosaur and the tortoise. Uh, yeah. Let's see, uh, this guy, his um, his very far is gone, right? Because he did this rapid spin. Uh, no, he got rid. Uh, let me double check. I think he only gets rid of one thing at a time. Okay. Rapid spin. Yeah, there's only one thing, so he still has the fairy fire. Yeah. Uh, deck save for these two. DC 15. It's not very high. Oh my god, he wants to live. That makes sense. It's oh my god! Grenade. He doesn't give a shit about plants. Yeah, he don't care. Oh no! Oh, fucking Christ. That's... well. Um, I see this guy over here. I'm gonna go put myself over here so that if he yanks me, I won't go through glass. Excellent. Good good call. Uh, I think bonus action, action. That's me. Alright. Uh, he's at a legendary. That brings us to Gale. Cool. Uh, I am going to shoot uh, Fisher. Wait, no, stop. Uh, after, man. You, after I stand up. Uh, I'm also going to... Uh, Drop my Tantra's Bark on Nordo. Oh, yeah, good call. Do that's <laughs> to a different spell. Oh. So I'll just tack on an Hot. extra 2d6 radiant for that. That's 4d6, right? Oh, two. Good uh, shit. So Twelve radiance, and then you know thirty-three on the regular. Uh, uh yeah. You watch as more of this radiant energy burns through, preventing his wounds from clo or from uh, being healed. Uh, ow, fucking hell! <laughs> he also can't become invisible, and he sheds bright light or uh, dim light in five foot radius. Oh yeah, I missed that too. Um, yep. Uh, that's another crit. That is another crit. Jesus Christ. Calm Come down. Uh, hot, 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 hot. On that one. Uh, these two back-to-back -back shots. You... I'll just tack that on, too. Jesus Christ. For another 40. Uh, fucking hell, Gale. <laughs> Gale is a bullet elemental. Uh, the first shot catches him right... The best the I've ever rolled. That is the best you've ever rolled. Uh, he doubles over to the side, and with the second shot, you aim right for the head. Uh, the bullet cracks through one of the horns, which splinters and falls off to the ground, uh, and then embeds right in the back of the skull, leaving this big, big gash um, where uh, you can see it barely avoided just, like, braining him. Um, he picks himself up, dazed and just absolutely in horror at what you've done to him. God, it's... 
It's so hard not to spend another Archangel. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I should save them just in case. Alright. Anything else? Uh, no. My bonus was for a spell and then two shots from action. Uh, we stand up with our movement and we're just gonna hang out. Um, All right, so we'll bring... hobble over here just to give us some, a little bit of cover. Sounds good. Uh, that'll bring us to Nordo. Okay, I will begin by, uh, as Plague Fisher disappears, uh, turning to these <laughs> pallid Pokemon all around me. Uh, I will turn towards the uh, Hellwing Drake and sort of slam my foot into the ground. And a... No, stop it. Crevice opens up underneath him. And I'll do this motherfucker right here. If I could find it. Uh, he's stunned, so he had all the fails deck saves, right? Is that true? Pretty sure. Yeah. I choose to believe it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he fails restrained. strength index. Well, that's just great news. He becomes restrained. I didn't even know that part. Okay. Uh, and then I will kind of step up to him. I think I probably take some opportunity attacks when I do that. Uh, double checking, Dinosaur, does he have a melee? Uh, Dinosaur does not have a melee, Mr. Tortoise probably does. Oh yeah, Tortoise definitely does. Although, I, was I, was I, or, what's his reach? Because I don't know if I was in his melee to begin with here. Um, he's taking up three tiles. I actually, uh, I assume, yeah, I think it's this one and this one. So I, I don't think you're in Tortoise's reach currently. Okay, terrific. Then I will just step up to Mr. Charizard. Make some attacks with my action. I'm gonna go for the bite first. If it hits, it is a crit. Uh, Twenty is good for fifteen. Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, with the crit damage. Crit, that's right. Uh, I will use my reaction for Spine of the Cloud Piercer, uh, and then here's the second attack. Two is good for another 18. Uh, give me a strength saving throw. So just add another layer of restraint in case it comes up. Or he's still stunned. So he's, he's just out of field strength saves. Yeah. Great, cool. So out of the crevice that opened up from under him, these thick red vines burst out and lash him to the ground as well. Uh, just for good measure, let me get a conch save. We have one more dumb bit of Pokemon trivia. You know what was a, a staple on every move set in Gen One? Rap. What? Is it immobilized? Yep. Rap is really oh. bad. Uh, rap is basically rap and moves like it are the reason the rap has been so good. Yep. That said, well, twenty succeeds, so he's no longer stunned at the end of my turn, and that is my turn. Uh, thank God it gets a turn. It is all sorts of fucked up, though. It is grappled and restrained, and most importantly, it's restrained by ground type. Sure is. Means he would have disadvantage. Oh, I forgot that I. Breaking three. I forgot that they have uh, ground type too. Plus if it'd be. What's your typing, Nordo? Although he's like ground, he's restrained once by ground type and also restrained by grass type. So I assume he'd be good at breaking out of the grass type. Nordo's gonna be like fighting ground, right? Yeah, for sure. Fighting, <laughs> yeah. fighting stone. Or, or, yeah, fighting rock. rock. Yeah, fighting because for rock. some reason. We don't need a lightning type at all, but we need both ground and rock and metal. Yeah. Electric Wait, is a lightning, lightning type. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking of? Air. We're missing air. There's no air. That's flying. Flying type. No, flying. flying is not air. You call it your fucking tits. It was originally called a bird. <laughs> I'll give you that. Also, it's none of its moves are air related. It's all like wing flap and beak and shit Gust. Like that. Gust. <laughs> Shut up. The, but all the, all the descriptions whirlwind. For gust, all the descriptions for gust and whirlwind are like you create the wind with your wing. Well, uh, twister then. Like a poke, just dragon. That look at the damage. Yeah, twister's a dragon type. Wow, yeah. oh, that's really good necrotic damage. Fifteen points. Uh, the first thing that he's gonna do is he's gonna try to just slam his head into you, uh, and as it does, you can see his horns light up with fire. Uh, this is disadvantage because he's restrained and he doesn't get to do the flying. Whips this big old Charizard neck around. Fuck! <laughs> Would have hit. 
natural one misses. Uh, well, let's go ahead and follow that up. He's going to start spinning his tail wildly. Uh, anybody within 15 Propeller. feet of the drake needs a dexterity saving throw. I think it's just me. Which I think is, yeah, just you. Yeah, he's stuck in the ground, so I imagine just wiggling it frantically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a uh, because no damage. You're fine, no damage. He'll follow up with a simple dragon claw. Surely this will work. Disadvantage, 25? 25 will hit. Awesome. 11 points of slashing damage. Uh, and once he has grabbed you with the claws, uh, he looks to you and to, to 10. Uh, five. Uh, Vasu. I don't think he can get anyone else. Uh, but Nordo and Vasu, I need one more dexterity saving throw against a flamethrower. Ooh. Easy peasy. Ain't nobody got time for it. Bustle? I can give a Yeah, easy peasy. If he hits the glass, does the glass melt and fall to the ground? Uh, big parts of it definitely do, yeah. Um, but it seems that they, like, there's so much glass in here. It's way okay. more than there was in the dome, for sure. Uh, importantly, after the flamethrower, that area remains on fire. Ooh. Uh, but you guys have taken no damage from it so far. Uh, that's the Drake. That brings it to Vasu. Okay. I use half my movement to stand up. Oh god, something's gone horribly. There we go. Okay, um... Just gonna hit the hit the blast always with some lightning again. Ooh. God Ooh, damn these... it! Calm down, guys. Ooh, these... <laughs> Thirty-two points, a lot of which is lightning. Uh, let's see. There's that. There's another forty-six lightning for you. That's another. So, fucking hell. And then uh, two from that, and then nine from that for another eleven. Going to town on this thing. Give me a. Con save? Love some. He's By which I mean okay. it's not actually that great. It's okay, but it's not okay, good. Oh. He's fine there, that's for sure. Uh, 29 good for another 13 plus 3 for 16. He's got a two stacks of lightning. Um really want to go fuck up the plague fisher but i don't want to leave nordo here I'm fine. alone nah. I'll, be, I'll be just fine. <laughs> it's fine i have 181 hit points and i'm raging i want to i want to beat up this turtle though i know beating up turtles is I'm fun gonna, i'm gonna flurry and do two more lightning swing oh no uh you have advantage 17 misses though one and two uh 19 also just shy uh um... d4 yeah, I'm gonna add the D4 to the the 19. All right. Uh, 22 will land, uh, uh -huh. which means that is now 28 plus uh, 11 for 39. Uh, this thing is still standing, but it is starting to look very battle weary. Has another stack of storm bound on him too. That's me. All right. Actually, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll just kind of get out of the burning fire. Ow, hot. Seems wise. <laughs> All right, that I'll brings resist us. it, but still, it's you know, I don't want to take tick damage. Right, right. I'm not, a, I'm not an idiot. I love ticks. <laughs> All right, Mr. Plague Fisher. Time for this. What is this? Cube. Why didn't I do this earlier? That would have been great. Um, oh, I can do that. Oh, you're too far apart.
Uh, he is going to begin casting a spell. <gasps> yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. All right, uh, give me a check. You're looking for just a 14. Uh, all right, you see traces of fire begin to etch themselves in a circle as if he intended to close off Flick and himself from everybody else. Uh, but again, Flurgle, you shut that down. Um, he gets his actions back, and that brings us to the dinosaur. Um, you do see that he barks out some, some commands in Infernal to these things. Like, will you take care of that little brat? Which one is brat? <laughs> the, the dinosaur turns and looks at you. Uh, and you should say charge solar beam at you. I'm oh, a twerp. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, good. This is already charged, so it skips the accumulation stage. <laughs> I need a constitution save. Actually, he can hit. Can he hit both? Well, he wouldn't be able to hit both of you without hitting the plague fisher. So yeah, do it. Just flirt hit the plague. I need a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Oh, That's lots of damage. It sure is. A big line. Uh, you do take half, so 24 points of uh, radiant damage. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's going to follow up with uh, a leech seed. Uh, give me a sec. I need to concentration save All right. for keeping fucking fairy oh, yeah. fire up. What's the DC? What? How much damage uh, did this take? 24? So DC 12. E it's still up. <laughs> okay, cool. right. Leech, leech me, baby. Ba uh, 25 to hit. Oh, that hits! Uh... So you take 11 points, a little bit of piercing, a little bit of necrotic. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, Hello. as the seed hits you, it uh, sprouts all these tiny little hairs and burrows its way under your skin. Uh, ah! Itchy! Itchy! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What do I want to mark this with? That'll work. Some, some hairy shit. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, let's turn on fire the second leech seed. Um... Gotta be Nord. Yeah, gotta be Nord. Twenty-seven. I'm taking damage. I hope twenty-seven hits Nordo. No, stop Nine. it. Oh my God, sixteen. I don't think you blocked all of it. Oh, Hell so close. Yes. I'm so mad. Oh, you rolled a one. Uh, no. Thank. Fucking oh. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't do it anyway. I already used my reaction to do the spider okay. tongue. Out of club, uh, thing. Can I? Can I do my? Yeah, it's a leech seed. It's an attack. It's yeah, attack it's an block. attack roll. All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna block it with my, my thing in the Your Earth the thingy. Oh yeah, Crispy. that blocks all of it. Thankfully, the plant or the uh, seed burrows its way into your tortoise shell, uh, and not into Nordos tortoise shell. Thank you. Um, he has already used his fourth, but he can still do a razor leaf. So let's do a razor leaf on Flurgle. Oh, I really, no. really, 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 really wanted to throw that seed into this dinosaur. <laughs> right? Or into like the Charizard. 24 hits. All right. Yeah. Delightful. That is another uh, 15 points. A little piercing. Oh my point. god. Yeah, I can't fail the con save as long as it's not above 10. Yep, you're good. All right, that's the dinosaur. Brings us to the tortoise, who's in a tough spot. Fifteen, right? Yeah, fifteen. Yep. Oh god! Oh, that almost fucking does it. That's all lightning. Uh, barely standing. Uh, withdraws into a shell and is going to rapid spin that lightning off of himself. Ooh! One more cold. Oh, oh, thank fucking Christ, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. Uh, there is no minimum one damage rule. He takes zero points of cold damage. Dick spins that way. Um, so I need strength saves from <laughs> Basu and Nordo and Flurgle. A strength save? Strength saving throws. I will plus one. Oh, itty bitty baby damage. Uh, oh, you two it's take knocked six over. Six bludgeoning and are knocked prone. Uh, Vasu takes six damage and is knocked prone. Holy shit. Mama, I don't want to be a Pokemon no more. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> one for 
but mine's above there. Oh shit. Uh yeah, you're good. You are totally fine. Um sick, you're prone now, which means this has advantage, Flurgle. 24 for 23. Oh it's stepped on the wall on the ground. Hell yeah. Uh -oh. Thank Christ. Um these are both gonna cancel out hold advantage and uh hold on, I need a fucking con save. Ah, uh, just barely make it! Nice, nice, just barely. <laughs> I could have failed the one. Alright, this cancels out on you, Flare Girl, because you're prone. So, straight roll 21 for 28. Still fucking hits. <laughs> Thank God, let me get a strength save. Hold on, how much damage? Uh, 28 points of bludgeoning, DC 14. My God, they hit so hard! Uh, DC 14, yeah, DC 14 con save. Uh... I gotta stop that counter spell, man. Oh, it's still up. The and, and the strength save? Yep, strength save. Or be pushed back? Or be pushed back 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> Thank God, which means this next one. Well, it's a ranged attack, so it still just cancels out. Yeah. Just playing on his side, like, oh. So here we go, one last one on Flurgal. Straight roll 30 for 9. <laughs> Is it a 16? Uh, I think oh, it's not ranged? Cancel out. It's ranged. Um, yeah. Wait, what cancels it out? I was trying to remember. What did they have advantage on before? it? Oh, right, being within five. Okay, you're right. So it is yeah. a sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> Misses. All right. He just kind of rolls over like oh. All right. He tried. That brings us to Flick. Uh, real quick. Yes. The Hellseed Dinosaur takes the seventeen lightning. Also. Oh yeah. Good call. This leads to him. All right. Now Flick. Okay. Um. Like Fisher said, Fisher said <laughs> what earlier? That it'd be better than this hellhole? Like, what was he saying? Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact way that he said it, but it was something along the lines of how uh, dare you fucking ungrateful thing. You get to live in a nice place, not like this hellhole. What the fuck are you talking about? This, it's, nothing here is great. You aren't even grateful for the life you've been given. It was my life to begin with. Why do you think you... No, no, no. Farther back. Why do you think you were even born? Whose blood do you think runs in your veins? Uh, I'm just gonna swing at him. <laughs> I can't just ask a Pokemon character who their dad is. <laughs> I have no dad. Ash, oh, catch God. him over bad. here. He's getting to me. I don't 20, like it. 24, 23, both good. Okay, good. Uh, uh, that force does get applied to the first one, too. Gross. Fucking gross. Go get him, uh, Flick. His horn <laughs> broken, now bleeding from the mouth, several teeth scattered. It is just like mortals to not know the good thing they have. Ah, uh, he's on his knees at door death's doorstep. Okay, I, I only got two attacks, I can't do anything else. Alright. Yeah. Uh, he will use a legendary. I forgot I have advantage on saving throws against spells and other effects like this. I've not been doing that this whole time. Oh no, oh well. Um... It's a legendary it's a spell, I can't do anything about it, so... Say love me! Yeah, bye. Not a spell this time. It's an attack on Flick. Oh! That no! One critical hit. Bro. Don't think I can do anything about that. Nope. 15 and, and 18, 18 for 33 total damage. Or at least that was kind of a shitty crit. crit. Was kind of yeah. a shitty crit. Still he also up. rolled a 1 and a 2 on his first 2d10. And then a 2 and a 2. What the fuck? Plague Fisher. <laughs> More like a critty shit. Ah! Um, you're already next to him, so that's fine. That's his legendary. That brings us to Flurgle. Uh, he attempts a kip up, fails, and just kind of pushes himself up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> before you do, before you oh. do that. <laughs> what? What do you want? Oh no! You got a leech oh no, you have leech seed. Uh, <laughs> ah! seed. <laughs> Told you guys, Bulbasaur is the best one. Oh my god! Points of necrotic damage. Uh, what's the con save? Uh, none. On that? that is automatic. No, no, what's the con save for oh, concentration? Uh, uh, 
uh, sorry. Yeah, DC 13. <laughs> oh! I'm looking bad! Alright. Yeah, he, get, he gets, like, sucked dry. <laughs> Stands up. Is like, what? 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 One moment! Everyone attacking me for some reason! And then he throws two catapult munitions. No, stop it! Where are they going? Here. Hitting both of them. No! <laughs> you gotta use a spell so I can reflect it. Uh, alright, here we go. Dexterity save. It's not magical, bitch! Oh, that is so much damage, too. 14 dex! Uh, <laughs> 75 <laughs> points to the dinosaur. Fire damage. Oh, it's fire damage. <laughs> it's 150. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, and he'll try. He believes in himself. Uh, those. Once uh, one succeeds. Ones, it doesn't matter. He has. I'll spoil it. <laughs> Two points of health left. <laughs> uh, even with resistance in half, he cannot bring it down under two. Uh, you watch as this uh, mirror-coated enormous turtle with uh, special eye beams uh, bursts, uh, collapses to the ground, and begins to wither away as you have seen demons do. Huh? 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 I'm 15 feet of movement. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Uh, it fainted. It's just sleeping, guys. Scales up. It doesn't it doesn't disappear in a in a red mist back into a ball on the plague fisher's waist? No 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 no. It dies horrifically. <laughs> and painfully. That's how I want to go. Uh cool. Well he's dead. So I guess I'll I'll just keep doing what what worked last time. Hell yeah, blow his head up! Oh shit, am I still leeched? <laughs> sure are. I was help! 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 <laughs> help! <laughs> Is that on Plague Fisher? Plague Fisher. Yeah. Uh, the first shot uh, rings out uh, through the broken glass um, and hits him square between the eyes. Uh, how would you like to do it? Oh. Can my bullet, like. Grab his fishing rod and then thrust it through his chest. <laughs> I I don't know if I've ever actually described him as having a fishing rod, but I'm into it. I'm gonna. I go assume with it. he does because he's a fisher. <laughs> uh, we'll say that sure he's. Uh, it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it though. For for one reason or another, he has got a uh, not just a fishing rod, but also one of those like fishing hooks to pull the fish up with. Uh, the bullet catches the rod, uh, which kind of flies through and then hooks on the way back, uh, and, uh, he collapses. Uh, and you watch as slowly from the tinker or fingertips inward, uh, like a demon, uh, just begins to wither away. He wasn't expecting company is all. He was actually fishing. <laughs> uh, and then I'll redirect the other one on, uh, I guess... Probably go for the dinosaur. All right, twenty-four is good for that. For another twenty-seven. Uh, anything else? Uh, I've got a bonus action that I don't think I have anything I can do with, so I will just hang out for now. All right, uh, that'll bring us to Nordo. Cool. Spin the cloud piercer. I get to make a free unarmed strike and start of my turn. No action required. I will do it on this Charizard. If it hits, it crits. Oh, motherfuck. Oh, thank god. 15? 15, still misses. Alright. Hate it. Next. I will use my action to make some attacks. Ah, oh, that is a good hit, though. Uh, 
blowing up. You're just continuing to maul away at this thing as it's stuck in the earth. Absolutely. Um, that's my action. I guess I'll, like, step out of the fire. Is that space available? Can't really tell. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I can, like, barely see the grid. These three right here. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, that's my action. It's my super cool free action. Uh, bonus action. Just go ahead and do an arm strike. Mother of God. Holy shit, he might live. 15 misses. Yeah, four? I already did it. Uh, that is my turn. Alright, that'll bring back to him. He is still restrained. He has no chance of getting out of there with disadvantage. He does take... 19 necrotic. Ow. Um, Alright, let's see if we can cause a stink at least before we go down. Uh, first up, I think this will get Vasu this time. It will. Uh, Vasu and Nordo, I need dexterity saving throws. Vasu takes I, nothing. I ain't scared of no fire. But that's all he has, guys. All he has is deck saves against fire. That's why I ain't scared of him. <laughs> I'm scared of fire. And itchiness. And water. No. Oh, he actually got I'll to add the I'll add the D4 to it. Yeah, let's to make stop. it 19 or more. Yep, you're good. Uh, let's see. He will try to claw at you, Nordo. Disadvantage. Misses. Uh, he'll try to flare blitz. Disadvantage. 20? 20 will hit. Oh, thank God. Uh, for 29 points of bludgeoning and fire, and I need a strength saving throw. At least they're all halved. So 29 is halved to math is hard. 15? 14. 14. Uh, 14. Round on. Wait, no, 20. 25. 20. 12. 12? Oh. Yeah, because 25 rounds down to 12. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're thinking thoroughly. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 12 points of damage. Uh, and then the strength save. When does the fire go away? Not yet. And now there's more of it. Uh, good on the strength save, and then I need one more deck save from you and Basu. Stop that. 12. Oh no, Basu. It's fine, it's fire. Uh, six points of fire damage, Basu, with your evasion. I, I take three of it, because I resist fire. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that means you, Basu. Okay. Uh, I use half of my movement speed to stand up. Uh, and then I'm gonna dash with my cloak like 20 feet this way, and then straight back at the Hellseed Dinosaur. Dissipating flames in my pants. Oh shit, you're right. And that also makes this attack an advantage. Uh, 29 is good. 18 points of piercing and fire. Uh, number 7. Barely uh, hanging to, on. To be clear, I did dash like this way. Oh, gotcha. And okay. back, so I could clear out a little path for Gale and Toto, too. Perfect. Uh, here's the second attack. He's also marked with a point of heat. 23. Uh, 23 is good, and that is enough to leave him apart. Uh, Flare Girl, you feel the itching inside of your skin stops. Oh! Oh, thank uh, you! Ain't no problem. Um, unfortunately that was all of my movement, because that does, even with... Yeah, all of my movement was... I had to have it anyway, but then the two dashes had to be, like, all of that for the cloak. Um, am I... Te 15 feet away from this guy? Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna kick it. Ooh! It's a good kick. You guys gotta calm down with these crits. Uh, no. 13 is good. Uh, 
Um, you read what this does real quick. He's restrained and prone already, right? Correct. He's double restrained and prone. Force movement would like break the restraint, right? Something probably. Yeah. Okay, then I won't do that part of it. Um, I will give me a con save though. We've seen that this one at least can be stunned. You can be, but not this not time. Not this time though. That's me. All right. Uh, Plague Fisher's body crumbles away into nothing. Uh, and you watch as through space and across the etchings of the mirror where he lies, maze-like um, uh, etchings begin to scrawl themselves and eventually uh, begin to rip apart a hole uh, that seems to be growing, but so far it is that big. Uh, uh -huh. Flick, you begin to hear whispering from inside the hole. Yes, come here. I have waited so long to see you. Dinosaur's dead. Tortoise is dead. Flick's up. I'm gonna go over here and ignore that hole completely for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, cast healing touch on Flurgle. On Flick. So... Oh, thank you. And then an extra three, so... 37? Yeah. Thank you! Uh-huh. No problem. Okay, uh... That's all I'm gonna do. Alright, Flurgle. Let's see... Okay. I'm gonna... cast this on Flick in return. Thank you. Okay, we need this. And then I can move. 35 feet. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Is this next to Norgo? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, bonus action sponge wipe wyvern poison. Uh, not wyvern, fucking purple worm poison on his axe. <laughs> Just for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> just, just finish this. <laughs> I don't know if it's a mute or anything. <laughs> so, but you have it. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to Gale. Uh, hate to teacher teacher myself, but my cloak doesn't explicitly say anything about extinguishing flames. It's just a twenty mile per hour gust of wind. Uh, that's plenty more than enough to extinguish okay. them. Yeah. Oh. I'll just come over and put this thing down. <laughs> Beat it! It wants to live, though. It's so sad. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> 23, 28, both good. Hot down. He didn't choose to be popular. People made him popular. That's because he's the coolest one. That's... And that's why he got to live the longest. <laughs> Give that last little bit of blood for me, please. I was like, <laughs> um, uh, I looked at everyone. Can I keep him? Sure. I don't know. I thought you did not like dragons. We didn't keep one of those balls. How are you gonna keep it? Oh, he might have the pokeballs. Sorry, the Bromster balls. His, his corpse is gone though. It's replaced. Oh yeah, it's balls. becoming a hole. <laughs> All yours, Nordo. Appreciate. Nordo. If you miss every attack, I'll never forgive myself. Don't fuck it up. He'll still die because he's got so many wounds, even if I miss every attack. Ah, uh, that is enough to finish the job. You do notice for what it's worth, <laughs> the fiend is immune to poison. Of course, makes sense. 
Uh, it was just in case. He's not immune to being decapitated. Uh, and as he is, his body begins to crumble away into ash. Uh, over a few seconds, all three of these corpses begin to fade away. Uh, we're semi out of initiative ish. However, uh, as you look to the hole that formed where his body, where Plague Fisher's body began to decay, uh, it is expanding rapidly and accelerating. You probably have like two or three turns to do any preparations or healing that you want to do before you are engulfed. So I can use two turns to do two heals. I'll give one to Flurgle and one to Flick. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to save what's left of my mana. for Flick. Thank you. There's for Flurgle. Thank you. Are you using the Dire version? That was, yeah, Dire. Oh, yeah. I think that's still best, even out of combat. Yeah, should be. Yeah, I think so. If they're under that was, yeah. Yeah. I just only have up to level two spells, so they're not that good. Oh, that's fine. I feel much better. In fact, if I cast Insect Plague on uh, the dino, would you have let it work? Absolutely. Okay. I wanted to do it, but... <laughs> they're weak to bug, of course. <laughs> the dinos are weak to bug? Grass types are. Oh. Makes a lot of sense. Psychics are for some reason, and dark type. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Because bug needs to be good against something. <laughs> yeah. So let them have this. I can understand bug resisting psychic, but being good against psychic is insane. Because psychics are scared of bugs. It True. makes them concentrate less. It's the only way you can have psychic powers is if you are deathly afraid of bugs. Correct. Um, Alright, Nordo has used his two turns. Anybody else doing anything with two turns before you're engulfed by the darkness? Or any clever uh, plans yes. to deal with that problem? Yes. Yes, what you got? Uh, I cast Odalux's Resilient Sphere on the... Uh, hole? On yourself or on the ever-growing hole? On the hole. I'm uh, kidding. I don't okay. do that. <laughs> it's tempting, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I will throw out a. Uh, gonna throw down flame arrows on myself. All right. Um, everyone. I, I am ahead. also going to use my uh, sorcery point to change that to some other type of damage. Uh, let's go with thunder. And hope that whatever we fight isn't resistant to that. Yeah. Excellent. I, I stand next to everyone and activate the mana jammer. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to cast the spell evil and good on myself. Good call. I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Flick with one of my turns. Oh, wait. Actually, I um, can't remember if I picked that up from Warlock or if that was a Jin thing. I actually. I'm also going to tunnel fighter with the second turn. Yeah? Flurgle, if it doesn't fully break your heart, I might take that heal back in order to put up Unity. I feel like Unity might be more valuable here. Oh, is Unity gone? It's gone. So I, I actually shouldn't have had it for that fight. I thought it had been oh. away last time. Fair. No, go ahead and take it. It's, it might help people more. Yeah, I feel like the D4 is for the, for the How fight. How much did I say? I did it again. It was 22. Okay, subtracted toward the two. Sorry. Just bleeds all over the floor. There we go. <laughs> Gave it back. <laughs> Alright. Just gr vomit blood. Anything else you guys get? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. A, this is a thing I picked up from Warlock. So I cast Sanctuary. It's a low DC because I'm a, not a good Warlock. But this little white serpent kind of appears from the tattoo on Vasu's arm and slithers up Flick and forms a little halo around him. Excellent. Love it. Perfect. And then I'm Love and then I'll tunnel fighter. Alright. Uh you guys brace as the darkness uh begins to engulf you, and for a moment you feel yourselves floating weightless again, uh, like when you entered this place. Uh, I need each of you to roll a D9. What a strange number. It's the layer of hell we end up in. Hey, I got seven, that's the magic number down here. Is this good? I did too. Six and nine, Vasil! 
Hell yes. Look at all these sevens. <laughs> Look at these three seven people. Man, we got seven 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 and sixty nine. I think we just win the battle. I think so. Yeah, this was it. This is the secret code. We win the slot machine and we win the internet. Does Toto need a separate roll? Um. Yeah, actually, he would. That makes sense. Eh, he's with me. <laughs> Maybe. Because this worked out real well for you guys. You guys are nice and clustered up. This is also a nine. Except for mode. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> I mean, he can't die though. So. It's okay. We're we're. In telepathic connection if we're all in the same exist the same plane. So do I have any effects from Unordo on me right now? Uh, Unity. And Unity. it's still Alacrity too, yep. You still have the D8 okay. to initiative and you have the D4 to everything once per turn. And also, if it comes up, if you're within 30 feet of me, you can't be frightened. Marking candy is unity and cheese is the other thing. There you go. Um, all right. Little boy, let's see here. Let me figure out how this is going to go. Yeah. Um, if Nordo doesn't heal me, I'll heal myself just in case bad shit happens. I would, yeah, before it engulfs you? Yeah, I had two turns, right? Yep, go for it. Sure. I'm rolling it. Go ahead. Woo! It's very good heal. Truly. Kill you again with my other turn. Sure. I'm actually not missing very much anymore. If you need it, if someone else needs it, they might. I get four day. Oh, that's fair. I would like it. It should top you off. Yeah. Yeah, it is. yeah, I will be max. Well, maybe not. Oh, that, that, terrible. it might. It's 21. There's an extra three. Okay. As each of you comes to, you find yourself surrounded by mirrors, although the mirrors now swirl with images, projections of other places, other scenes, other worlds. It's hard to say. You see your own reflection, but they're twisted and distorted, gaunt and skeletal. Uh, the flesh is actively being stripped from your own bones. You can almost see your soul and your pulsing hearts inside your own bodies. Um, Flurgle and Toto wake up in the same room and strewn out uh, with your reflection are images of raining gold. Uh, you see molten uh, silver falls from the sky like rain. Uh, atop each of your reflections uh, is a twisted golden crown. Um, Vasu wakes up in a room with Ace, uh, and you see, uh, the mirrors reflect images of yourselves that are purely skeletal, uh, and you are surrounded by teeth. Uh, and you watch with horror, Vasu, it's so appropriate that you got this one. Uh, Vasu, the teeth, uh, in the reflections in the mirror begin to press up against the glass of the mirror and out and start trying to chomp at you through the mirror. Uh, um, hate it. Uh, Gale, Nordo, and Flick wake up in a room uh, where the reflections you see are of crumbling statues all around you. Uh, and you do see that uh, there is a little doorway that opens up into a similar room uh, where all of the mirrors uh, crackle with lightning and you can see the moat is in that room. Um, uh, and as you kind of start to get your bearings, uh, you notice that uh, there is 
uh, in each of the rooms where you guys woke up, a thin mirrored column, like a pillar, like a support pillar. Uh, and in that support pillar, uh, the image of a pale-skinned woman with bright red lips uh, begins to step forward. Uh, and although she doesn't speak, her voice or her mouth curls with a smile, uh, and you hear in all of your minds simultaneously, So you have brought the gifts straight to me. Perfect. I will have to punish you for what you've done to my lair. But that will be quick. Uh, and we're going to jump straight back into initiative. Let's yeah. pull over the uh, real quick, I had yeah. bonus actions on those two turns, I realized. Can I give Bardic Inspirations yeah. to two people? Yep, totally fine. Uh, one to Flick, and one to Nordo. Thank Flicks. you. I have so many effects, and they're all gone. <laughs> oh no. Ah, ah. Luckily, you wrote them all out. I did. These are the special effects of my um, Bardic of Spirations. Don't forget your d4s on your initiatives, y'all, and a d8 sure. as well, four flick. Guess I'll die. Oh, Guess no. I'll die. At 30! Moat and Ace off for now. If either of them hops on, we can grab them later. So now I'm just alone in a room with skeletal visions and Sure teeth. are. Five. Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five. It sure is. Okay. Uh, Flurgle, you were the first to react uh, as you see this uh, image of the Pale Knight in this mirrored tube just to your east uh, begins to pull away uh, and begins to encant some spells. Why am I alone? I can't do anything alone! Not with fire and poison in a fiend place! Uh, he's gonna pull out what appears to be this stick with carved animals on it. Like a totem, but very small. His thumb selects through them, and he focuses on a rather feline-like one with bat wings. And he engodens it materializing a large version of a cat bat. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that's an 8th level upcast version of this spell. <laughs> Good luck. Lord, uh, all right. Eighth level summon beast. Let's fucking go. Let's go. And it's basically the the beast of land. It can't actually fly. Noted. Uh, let's see. Controlled by Flurgle. Yeah. It's eighth level. Let me just see how much mana that costs. Eighth level spell is eleven mana. <laughs> All right, you should be able to move the token around. I will let you keep track of its health and stuff. Uh, but it is summoned and ready to go. Sweet. Uh, let's see. It can't seem to. Right? Yeah. No. It's no, just it, it acts. Yeah, it just accidentally my turn. Gotcha. Uh, that was an action for me, I think. I think I believe. And it gets to move. I give it an order to just beat the shit out of it. All right, excellent. Uh, can I rush the sheet? Can I just double click oh, it? I do not have a sheet for you. You're going to have to, like... <laughs> okay. I got this. Don't worry. Yeah. 
It's just for spell I think, did you, like, did you warn me to prep a sheet for this? I, I did. For that and the, um, for two things, my two summons. Hang on. I have your celestial <laughs> spirit and I have your fiendish spirit. Where did I... If you told me to make one, I should have made it. What the fuck? Okay, anyway, roll it for now and I'll take a look. Nomad, let's see. No, there, it's in the Nomad. Okay, one. Land, air, sea. The eight level spell slots. I was gonna say. Yeah, I, I don't have a flurgle thing anymore. I, <laughs> I would have set that up. Yeah. And then you said token barlings. Uh, but yeah, um, let me just uh, skip. I will get back to my turn soon. Cool. I'm just gonna set some shit up. Sounds good. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, let's do legendary. Oh no. Don't have to. Um, I think I do though. Uh, and I think I'm gonna start with the worst one possible because I love it so much. Uh Vasu, several of the teeth begin to burst from the mirrors and try uh, to bite you. I need no. a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I just realized two of those are eyes. I hate it. I'll never have teeth. Uh you nimbly dodge out of the way of all of that and manage to not be bitten. Uh that'll bring us to your turn. What do I attack? Is uh, this a man? It is a pillar that is like a mirror coated finish. So it's a it's a, a mirror pillar. And you can see that there's an image of the Pale Knight in the, the pillar. It's glass, right? Yeah, it seems like a glass mirror. Like a mirror coated glass pillar. That's right. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that'll, de that'll definitely be effective. Hopefully shatter a bunch of teeth, too. Ugh. Uh, with disadvantage. Oh no. It's Hell a yeah. big old fail. 12 points and you watch as glass begins to just uh, rain down from this pillar. Um, and you can see that her eyes in the reflection snap to you and her expression goes sour. How did the teeth feel about it? Uh, they seem to shy away from the point of impact a little bit, but there's still, there's hundreds of teeth and a bunch of them still want a piece of you. I mean, Shatter's like a, an AoE, though. Is it, oh, is that's it a good point. Like... Um, I, hmm. It's a 10 foot sure, I like radius it. sphere. I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, yeah, well, I will draw some cracks on the walls over here, and you can definitely yeah. tell that the teeth seem to have a harder time kind of like grabbing around this area. Yeah, and I imagine since this is an enclosed room and the teeth seem to be coming from the walls, I would have just, like, got in the middle of the room and done it right from the center. I'm into it. I like it. Uh, was two key points for the main action. Uh, I spent the key points. So that means I can make a weapon attack for the bonus, so I'll just... The pillar. Or not. Ooh, unfortunately not. It is, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's the side of a brick wall. You can't miss it, but it is just too hard. The weapon does not go through. Everybody knows the best weapon for attacking a wall is a spear. Absolutely. All right. Structures really hate piercing. <laughs> Anything else. It's fire, if that helps at all. But I guess it's, you know, it just seems like it's too that. hard. It's definitely like magically reinforced for sure. Uh, nope, that's me. Alright, uh, another legendary. Uh, boy, this is... You know, the only person who ended up in an appropriate room is Vasu. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Why is it appropriate? <laughs> it's just one of a bird that's teeth. <laughs> Ace is in here, too. <laughs> uh, over in the Nordo Flick Gale room. Uh, let me get a constitution saving throw from each of you. Why do you even bother making me make these checks? I know. That's what I said. None of you, like, the only one who ended up in a good room is Vasu. Uh, 39 okay? Yeah, 39's fine, I guess. It's okay. Uh, Nordo does take 10 points of necrotic damage. Uh, marking. Cool. All right, that'll bring us to Flick. What happens? Um, Describe it to me. <laughs> boy, how would this... You're right. Um, you 
feel your skin start to dry uh, and harden, almost like you're being petrified. Uh, and you just see your fingertips starting to turn to like this dusty old marble. Um, you take 10 points of necrotic damage and you can almost feel your fingertips clacking like they've become hard and calloused. Intriguing. Okay, I got four attacks, uh, a macro setup. Here's they were at advantage because I'm next to the thing. Yeah, go for it. Oh, whoops, sorry. I was talking to myself. Uh, 17, 27, 31, and 21. Uh, the 17 misses. The rest are good. And this thing just begins to uh, bang and bang on this glass pillar. Uh, let's see. 15. Uh, 18. And with the last hit, uh, you watch as this pillar shatters. Oh! Uh, as it does, uh, this image, this visage of the Pale Knight, uh, this pale woman that is kind of wrapped in white silk so that her face is just barely visible, uh, and her uh, horns, these kind of ivory white horns uh, that stick out to each side and upwards as if they were uh, going to make a broken ring, uh, snaps her head towards you and then towards the summoned cat bat. Uh, and reveals uh, beneath the red lips uh, these sharp, shark-like teeth. Uh, any th oh, well, that was the end of that thing, sir. Oh, no, she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, flick. Cool. Uh, the only gifts I brought you is the business end of my sword. And then I'm going to swing at the thing in front of me here. Hell yeah! 92! Uh, fucking hell. Uh, let's see, 43, 40... Uh, yeah, the if... first hit uh, is okay. exactly what you need to shatter this thing. Okay. Uh, which means that the second swing for 24 uh, goes through uh, to the visage. 24 lands for 50 points of slashing and radiant. Yeah. Uh, minus the 10 HP. Oops, there was actually one more, wasn't there? There was 10, 10 there HP. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, oh god, oh, oh god, oh, oh lord god. god in heaven, <laughs> oh lord god. There we go. Everything is okay, we're good. Uh, and okay. you watch as against the, uh, white flesh and the white silk, uh, a trickle of red begins to pour down where you cut through her. Uh, she can bleed. Sick. She can bleed, she can die. Um, <laughs> I was so excited to hit her I forgot to activate my sword but I'll just do that now and that's just yeah so it's a glowing with holy light but then also some lightning yeah I'll do lightning for this hell yeah just a swirl of holy and lightning just crackly energy around the blade. Alright, as the blade sinks in and you draw blood, she lets out this horrific scream. Uh, and as she does, the chambers all around you begin to twist and morph. Uh, for a moment, all of the mirrors just show uh, her own face screaming and twisting in agony, bleeding from the eyes. Uh, but then you watch as the walls begin to peel themselves apart in new places, spin themselves closed in other uh, and, uh, this might take a second. Bear with me. Just got some things okay. going on. Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, there's so many teeth. I will never know what the blue room does. Do I see Vasu now that there's a door here? Uh, presumably, unless his is about to close, which I think it is. Oh. Yep, sure is. Whoops. Yeah, but we see him now. Uh, but now they can see Vasu, yep. 
Uh, yeah. Let's see, and then. Oh, she disappeared. How convenient. She re-emerges in most of the same places, but not where Flick just stabbed her. Damn. Oh. But I don't like that. I do, because it means she's away from me, but I also don't, because I can't hit her more. So You're screaming from Flurgle. <laughs> uh, and then she gets to do things with her turn. Let's fucking go. Uh, first to you, Flurgle. Uh, she reaches out a hand, and as she does, this white silk, uh, lashes out towards you like a whip, uh, and you can feel the sharp edge of it, uh, does a 28 hit. Yeah. Uh, all right, you take 20 points of slashing damage, uh, and everything that you possess, your clothing, anything that you're holding in your hands, your backpack, anything that you're wearing or carrying... Uh, begins to glow red hot. Ooh, ah, uh, ah, nothing ah. happens immediately, but things will happen on your turn. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's see, down here in Vasu's room. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Um, she is also going to lash out at you with this silk. Does a 27 hit you? Vasu. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Yeah, that hit. Uh, delightful. 15 points of slashing damage, and I need a strength saving throw. Un momento, por favor. Uh -huh. Uh, boy, howdy. Um, this sharp silk catches you around your wrist, uh, and it begins to yank you towards the mirror. For a brief moment, you watch as your hand is pulled through the mirror, and the teeth all around the room begin to gnaw and bite at it. Uh, but you pull back and are able to pull your hand free of the mirror before she gets a good grip on you. Uh, that is her turn. That brings it to Norda. Okay. Cool. Sorry, there was a cat situation. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, Nordo looks around confused about where she went. Sees Vasu getting yanked into a mirror over that way, and he'll run over there. 30 feet gets right here. Uh, as he runs, he'll pull the axe out. It's a bonus action to rage. Oh, you're a siege weapon, too. Precisely. Uh, and I will begin attacking. I'm going to start with an unarmed strike. Recklessly, of course. Twenty-eight slams in. You are a siege weapon. That is twenty-four bludgeoning. All right. Second to arm strike. Whoop. 
Uh, and with that, this pillar shatters, revealing the visage. Outstanding. Nora runs in and just gives a couple of butts with the end of his axe and one like headbutt <laughs> to the glass to break it. And then he sort of wheels the axe around a couple times. Action uh, to swing it upon her. Uh, 28 slams in for 12 points of magical slashing. I don't know if she can be prone, but if so, if a 21 would have hit, she is prone. Um, as the axe sinks in, because I think this is the first hit that has actually hit the visage directly, uh, she almost seems to crumple and fold like cloth, like her whole body is made up this, of this silken material. Uh, for a moment, she does all, like fall flat, but then she bounces right back up. It doesn't seem that she's vulnerable to prone. Uh, okay. For that matter, she also... Okay, yeah, she is bleeding. And restraint, yes or no, possible? Uh, restrained. Uh, seems that she's immune to it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I will. Uh. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll throw a goading strike onto that one. So an extra two damage and a wisdom save. Okay. Is that Lord Farquad? Gil is stepping on? I believe so. <laughs> kind of <laughs> looks like it. Alright, second attack. Ah, uh, 24, good for another 20 point slashing. Okay, that is my action. That's my bonus action. Um, uh, let's see here. <laughs> cool, I'll just stay right here. Perfect, excellent. Uh, all right. Uh, end of your turn, legendary. I need constitution saving throws from Gale and from Flick once. I'll make this mistake one more time. Uh, as parts of your body begin to harden and solidify into marble. Wait, was Flick there before? He was in the middle, no? Uh, no, he's in the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, oh. Flick, you take four points of necrotic damage. You can put a T4 on that if you want to, to try to get to 22. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Alright, and that'll bring us to game. Uh, what's... What's outside this door? Um, as you look out, uh, you see swirling... Uh, let me, I'll just reveal this. You basically see swirling fire, uh, bits of uh, just spinning glass sharp that's kind of like just floating in space but it's got this tempestuous fluid motion to all of it uh, it looks like a hellscape it looks like a, a spacey hellscape a gravityless spacey hellscape interesting just go out there uh, I might oh boy First, I'm going to run over here, and I am going to try and shoot with my uh, with fancy auto-aiming gun to try and shoot a bullet out, uh, essentially have it target the Pale Knight, ideally, through... Something <laughs> like this. Excellent. Love it. Or like this, maybe? I, I, I dig it. I'm super into it. Uh, there are so many, like, mirrors and things. I love the idea of this bullet just bouncing off of flying little shards of mirror out here. Because you've lined up this perfect shot. Let's see it. Uh, let's see. Do you have advantage? There's an uh, ally next to them. There's an ally next to them. Uh, I say either one. That is true. The I do need to make a flat intelligence check. That's right. 
which I'm good. Okay, uh, 32 is good, then this bullet uh, goes careening through the place. Uh, you do see that as it steps out here and kind of does the bounce, begins to glow red hot. Um, by the time it comes back in, it is almost a tracer round, but it slams into her uh, for 26 points of piercing and probably also some fire that she seems to be immune to. She does take 11 lightning, though. Uh, she sure thunder. does. Thunder. Uh, and she does not resist that thunder. Good, good. Uh, then I will... Uh... My other action, I'm going to just attack the glass pillar here. Uh, excellent. See if we can shoot that. Oh, also, I lied. I'm sorry. The uh, Take that 11 back. It's already built into the... Gotcha. Or actually, no, I didn't. I pressed the wrong one. Never mind. Cool. I'm just bad at everything. <laughs> These things happen. Uh, she does. She only takes six, actually, with the thunder. Gotcha. Sorry, new spell. I've only been playing this character for three years. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll shoot the uh, class thing. All right. Fire away. Uh, 18 is enough to pierce through. Uh, 32 points. Is any of that thunder? Uh, yes. Uh, how, how much? It's... Uh... Six? Okay, that Less. gets doubled. The glass seems weak to thunder. Cool. Uh, that was a good call on my part. Uh, Toto. Can he? Uh, I guess I'll shout for Toto to attack the Pale Knight if he can see her. Yeah, you probably hear uh, a distant or... danger, danger. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I can hear him, then I will... Shout for him to uh, defend anyone he's with and from the Pale Knight and attack her. He can see her. Absolute. Uh, he will. Uh, that Ooh. is a good hit. These aren't linked. I made a huge mistake, but uh, that does hit. Uh, for 11 points of force damage. Uh, that's it for me. Alright. Uh, end of your turn. Another legendary action. Um. Yes. Yes. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Uh. Let's see. Now is the time? What time is it? It's 4.38 a.m. Read time. I don't think this affects Toto... Or the summon, because neither of them are carrying anything in their hands, because they don't have hands. However, Flurgle and Gale, uh, you feel whatever you're holding in your hands, the totem for Flurgle, Gale, your gun, uh, suddenly begins to pry itself free from your hands. I need strength My saving throws from Flurgle and Gale. I know Gale. He's good at saves. I am not. <laughs> Uh, both 32 of them. diesel! T4 Gale, T4 Gale! No! Oh. Uh, both of you drop anything you were holding in your hands, and as soon as it hits the ground, you it just stops instantly, like it is stuck. Um, oh. just like with a quick kick of your foot, you can tell that it is adhered to the mirror. Uh, and you can see that there's almost like a golden filigree that begins to branch out from the mirror, uh, from these stuck items. Uh, this mirror is broken. Uh, the tube is broken. The entire room is coated in mirror. Oh, the entire room is mirror. Sure okay. Sure is. Uh, and that'll bring it to your turn, Flurgle. I take fire now. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're heated. So let's see. How's this fucker? Hot! 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 Um, yes, you need a constitution saving throw. Well, I'm not holding anything anymore, but my entire outfit is hot. Correct, your entire outfit. So I guess you can I'm... drop the outfit no matter yeah. what. So you just take 25 fire damage and have disadvantage on everything. I'm resistant. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, metal. I put sunblock on earlier today. For <laughs> 14 damage, yeah? Yep. To 14 damage? Or, no. Sorry, 12 damage. 12, 12 sorry, yeah. Resistance. Uh, and it's your turn now. Uh, thankfully, your thing only lasted one round, so the heating goes away now. Okay. So you do still have disadvantage until the start okay. of your next turn. I'm going to jump up. Huh? Huh? And as well, I'm in the air. Action. Summon. 
six barrels of open holy water. <laughs> cool. And land in one of them. <laughs> Bonus action. <laughs> throw one at her. <laughs> Splash. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> can I, like, AOE that to sprinkle everyone so Toto and the bat is considered holy? Um, okay, so... Oh, boy. They're considered holy isn't a real thing, but coated in holy water is a real thing. I... Yeah. I can use one bonus action instead to apply it like a poison. We'll say to the bat. Um, uh, I'm into that. Uh, uh you've... A, you... Yes, you've seen the cheese immune to fire. Okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm in this barrel. <laughs> uh, you were in the barrel for sure. If you want to, you can just, let, like, summon the barrels... Well, I guess... Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's your choice. If you want to splash a barrel on her or splash a barrel on one of your friends or how you want to do it, uh, it's your call. Yeah. I want to see how it works because I'm not sure what it's going to do. So yeah. I'm going to be in one of the barrels after landing. But the one next, the barrel next to me, I'm just going to douse the cat bat in it to try and, like, apply poison to it. You know, but it's holy instead. I love it. I'm into it. Uh, excellent. We can work and, with this for sure. And then... Yeah, and then I kind that's my action, my bonus action. And I assume my movement because I jumped into it. Uh, and then it's just going to attack four times. And let's see if that thing did anything. Perfect. Miss? Uh, 16 misses. 24? 24 does hit. Uh, does it do extra and yeah, we'll say, uh, we'll damage? Normal holy water damage, so add an extra 2d6 radiant to that. Uh, she is a fiend, unsurprisingly. Woo! Uh, attack number three. Uh, 26. 26. Hits for 17. Extra 2d6. Um, boy, I don't know how. Uh, most poison only lasts. Poison works one, three yeah. times. Uh, yeah, but in your campaign, it works for three I rounds. Do, I do house for three, three attacks. Normally. That's fair. Not, not three rounds, three attacks. Or, yeah, three attacks. Okay, yeah, yeah go ahead and roll for that. Uh, uh two. <laughs> good. Excellent. Uh, last attack. 25. For 13, and one last attack with holy water. Then I have to apply it to it again. Yeah, or it could use uh, its own action to apply it if it wanted, but, you know, that's a whole lot. No! Action. It's for attack! That's what that fast hands is for. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'll apply it. <laughs> God bless that fast hands. I'm such a fan. Listen, I'm useless alone. <laughs> Literally useless. All right, anything else? I have to summon the giant cat. No, that's it. All right, into your turn, legendary. It's teeth time. I need Nordo no. and Vasir to give me dexterity saving throws as the mirrors try to eat them. Nordo with advantage because you're on crack glass. Oh, fun. What? For advantage anyway, but I'll take it. How did the cracks not also appear in the spot where I was standing? Because you, you fire a thunder wave out from yourself, right? It's a, it's a sphere. Wait, is it? I thought you... Am I thinking a thunder wave? Thunder wave shatter. Shatter. Oh, you it. shatter. Uh, you know what? Yeah, this whole room is cracked, we'll say. So you can build yeah. the advantage. I'm it's a 10-foot radius sphere. The idea was to just fuck up the whole room. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have fucked up the whole room. Cool. Yeah, crack teeth. Crack teeth. Both of you with advantage. Dexterity saving throw. Woo. Uh, neither of you are caught by the teeth. Uh, and that'll bring us to Vasi's turn. Uh, this is just a visage right in front of us. The glass is shattered, right? Uh, correct, yeah. Hi -ya. Uh, I have 27 is left. good for... I have I assume left. Radiant? Yeah, I was gonna make it Radiant. So yeah, keep. Checking, pretty sure. Yeah, she takes full Radiant. Sweet. Give me a con save. Oops, sorry. 295 minus 13. I gotta remember to link these the next time I bring them out. And a con save. Yeah. Uh, very She's bad, done. but she is immune to stun. Oh no. <gasps> For the first time. No, no, I got bad news. <laughs> <laughs> 26 is good enough for another 10. Uh, she's got two stacks of heat on her as well. Um, how much key do I have? I'm going to not flurry, but since I spent a key, I'll just make my attack with spear. Ah, uh, do I have advantage for any reason? I don't, I don't think, think you so. Do. And 15 is not enough. Damn, Shane. All 
Alright, anything else? Uh, nope. Alright, then at your turn, or end of your turn, she's going to use the last legendary. I need another set of dexterity saving throws from Nordo and Vasio. I am going to teeth one of you fuckers. Oh, that might do it, actually. Uh, what is four. Sometimes you just want to bite someone full force. Full force. No, stop it! 22 is just <laughs> enough. Uh, Alright, that brings us to Flick. Flickito! Okay. Uh, let's go find another one. Uh, I can't see through Nordo. I probably... Huh. You know what? I can't get to anybody. These things are breakable. I'm just going to change... We're eventually going to have to break all those anyway. Yeah. I'm going to change all the damage to this to Thunder, because my sword can do that. Hey, stop it. Hot! Oh. Crit it. <laughs> it's, it's dead. <laughs> nice. I assume it's dead. Uh, yes, yeah. it sure is. Holy I'm just going to assume. Yep. Yeah, second, second. Ooh, almost another one, though. Hot uh, damn. Good lord. Out of D4. 106. <laughs> Uh, effortlessly just destroying these pillars. I can't add a d4 to the attack roll, right? Only Two to the things roll, done. but not to the damage roll. But, so that means I can make it a crit with a 1? No, it would it's no. not. Yeah. Right. I always forget you can't do that. Oh well. But that's cool. It's two dead. Yay. <laughs> you did it. Hey, Gail. Yeah. This is a good system, unlike Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. We made it back full circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like three hours. Yeah, yeah. It did take very long. Okay. All right. Anything else? Um. Let me see. Would I see Gale's gun stuck to the floor? Absolutely, and it is awesome. stuck, stuck. I don't like that room. <laughs> it just leaves. Him. <laughs> That'll be it. All right. We're up, and it's time. For a room chain. Room oh, chain. Just right here. Do it, if, I dare you. If she can take necrotic, she takes six. Yeah. I uh, cling to my barrel. Do my barrels remain or do they leave with the room? Uh we'll see mm -hmm. what they become first. Uh alright, here we go. I cling to my barrels. <laughs> I can cling to one at most. The one I'm riding in. She takes eight radiant, too. Uh, she sure will. Remind me in a second after I finish doing all this bullshit. Somebody came up with weird, complex mechanics that take 30 seconds. I thought for sure when this started that we were going to have to, like, reorganize these spaces as part of this fight. I'm like, I I'm would not doing never, this. ever do that to you guys. Well, I just noticed that it looked like you could, like, connect them to all be interconnected if you put them just right. I'm like, are we going to have to do this? Because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I hit shit with my ass. So I, I did that, like, preview survey for my C3, right? And almost, like, the only one of the options that people are like, I hate this, this is my least favorite part of the game, is puzzles. Um, I have learned that there are two of you that really like puzzles, and I just have to give those puzzles to just the two of you. I can never have full party puzzles. It's not an option I have anymore. You can do puzzle fights, though. Puzzle fight, though. This would be a great puzzle fight. Would it? Terrible. Oh my god, buttholes! Oh, no, no teeth! Oh, eyes. Flick got the teeth. Gail's no. trapped. Oh, I also can't do anything next turn. Damn it. Does um, my gun come free? Uh, your gun, thank God, does come free. Okay, so everything's still. All right, let's see. This here. bitch thinks she can actually outgreed me. <laughs> I'm also trapped. So yeah, I hate that you put just eye there. Stuck in a room with boss right now. Oh hey, there's a there's a boss. Oh good. Something to do. Oh sweet, I got a boss. She's all over the place this time. Got nice and sick. Oh, we all too. have her. Uh, all right. And now she does stuff. Uh, let's start with Gale in the deeply uncomfortable room. Uh, how do you like sharp silk? 19 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 22 points of slashing, and unfortunately, there is no second target. Uh, so just 12 points of slashing to you. Did you say sharp silk? Yeah, uh, so as she lashes out, um, she sends this, like, 
uh, almost like a dancing ribbon or whatever, uh, okay. of this white silk. But uh, sharp. But it is sharp at the edges and it leaves lacerations. Um, moving over to the floor girl room. Oh no, I. I. I can see into the ghosts. Oh, praise be. Praise be. This is on Cat Why? Catbat. On Catbat? Leave Cat him alone. Bat. Uh, why didn't that roll? What's going on? What Leave Cat's Bath alone! Did you try to target Cat Bat? <laughs> Not Cat Bat. Oh, I see what I did. Sweet Cat Bat can't even fly. 29 to hit? 29? <laughs> yeah, Cat Bat's AC, by the way, is 19. Perfect. 19 points of slashing, and Cat Bat needs to make a DC 22 wisdom saving throw. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, let's see. DC 22. What is their wisdom? Why are you hurting Cat Bat? Okay, Cat Bat has a plus two to wisdom. Here comes let's that 20. Believe in you, Cat Bat. No! Uh, you watch as the silk wraps around Cat Bat, squeezes tight like a restrictor snake, and Cat Bat is gone. Uh -oh. uh, and then you watch as the visage with this horrible wry smile unfurls her other hand uh, and a pale cat bat emerges in its space and turns towards uh. you. Do I feel like that's still mine? No, it feels like a brand new creature. Oh, my 8th level spell, it's gone. Yep, so sorry. So sorry you ended up in the envy room. <laughs> You stole his cat bat. I stole his cat bat. I envied his My cat, cat bat, so now it's mine. <laughs> but, uh, no! Tooth time for Flick. No, no teeth. Shit, I don't... It's a 19 hit. I don't even have enough mana to do anything. Does not hit me. Thank God, I posted all of that too early, so I don't get to do the surprise. Don't read it. Uh, Greed okay. Room. Um, it's a, <laughs> it's a secret tool that will help us later. Okay. Um, it's gotta be... It's gotta be Vasu. Gotta be Vasu. Here we go. 23 to hit. If that just hits. Hope yep. so. Uh, 20 points of slashing damage and all of your belongings turn red hot. Nothing happens immediately. Things will happen on your turn. Uh, that is the visage. That brings us to Nordo. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing what Nordo do. Keep punching a bitch. Closely, of course. Uh, 23 is good for uh, 16, and then 22 is good for another 16. Very consistent. I'm going to go ahead and action surge. Just not realizing the red bar is not even visible. You guys haven't seen this the whole time. Shit. Uh, 24 good for another 14. Yeah. There was a green bar, but now it's gone. Hey, a crit in there. Uh, that is a crit for 23. Uh, on the crit, as Nordo just goes fucking wild, swinging over and over and over on her, his, uh, tattoo of the Mage's Rings. Oh, wait, is that charged? Hold on. No, it's gone. I'm so sad. I can't do that. Disregard that part. Uh, so that's my action and my action surge. Let's just go ahead and make it a flurry blows while we're at it. I will go ahead and use my reaction for Spine of the Cloud Piercer. Twenty-one. Uh, check. I think that's good. Uh, Twenty-one is good for another nine. And twenty-six for twelve. Uh, as Nordo just unleashes on this vision, um, all of you in all of your rooms begin to see blood. Uh, just pouring from her mouth. Okay, cool. That is my action. That's my action surge. That's my bonus action. Uh, I don't think there's a lot else I can do. For sure, that's my turn. Um, all right. Uh, she begins to scream. Now, it's not time. I'm not ready. It's not ready. 
leave this Lambda. place at once. I'm not doing anything. Why are you eating strawberries? <laughs> um, God, why is it all the Dex boys in the gluttony room? Did she do anything to me on her turn? Uh, she did. She attacked you with the ribbon. She slashed you a little bit. Oh, that's Uh, Flick. I'm gonna try to teeth you. I need dexterity saving throw. Okay. Teeth you? Son of a bitch. I don't know why I even tried. But that's your fetish. <laughs> Kills him. <laughs> well. Uh. Sucks to be you, bitch. Do I have anything that I can do? First thing I am going to do is I am going to activate a thing that I never use. I want to make sure that it actually does the thing that I think it does. Um, Okay, cool. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I am going to use uh, my Draconic Cry as a bonus action. So I have advantage on my attacks against her and potentially everybody else. I don't know if that's going to affect all of the mirrors or I just think it's this reasonable. one. The nature of this is that it's not like you're physically fucking with her, it's that you're distracting her and she is distracted in all of her locations. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I scream and a bunch of, like, smoke trails out of Gale's mouth. And he's gonna, uh, kind of, like, kick his gun back into his hand and then shoot her twice. Excellent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy Gale, you gotta calm down with these crits. Beautiful. No. These are great. These are great. Keep Holy going. Holy shit. It's finally happened. My time is now. Your time is now, indeed. 46 on that second one. Oh, piss. Another 22 on the smite. The HP is chunking away. God almighty, she is going down fast. I don't know why I was so afraid. Jeez. Uh, that was my bonus section, so Toto just stays there and defends Florgal as best he can. Um, and everybody has advantage on attack rolls against her. Love to hear it. Uh, Alright, into your turn. Legendary. Oh, boy. It's gotta be Envy. Gotta be Envy. Let's really just double down on this. <laughs> what did I do? Um, he stole my cat bat. What else can you take from <laughs> You took my totem. I'm not armed, I have holy water barrels. Oh, <laughs> I'm just now realizing this won't work, but she doesn't know it, so she's going to do it. Uh, <laughs> what Flurgle, is this? Flurgle and Toto, are you both immune to charm? Yes. I'm currently, yes. For a moment, you see this visage point. It's because I'm high! The twisted, pale white finger at each of you, and then brings the fingers together as if directing the two of you to fight each other. Um, and both of you feel nothing as the magic does not sink in. I am upset. Vasu's turn. Just, just like every day. <laughs> I blink up Toto. I'm like... Attacks at the end. Oh, uh, was it Gil's? Oh. Yeah, I just realized, was it Gil's turn? Earlier? I don't think I had a turn. Uh, that's true. Did Toto do anything in your turn, or did you use your bonus action already, Gil? Uh, I'd use the bonus action for the Draconic Cry. Okay, that's right, that's right. So Toto's just defending. Yeah, but Flurgle didn't get a turn, is what he's saying. Yeah. 
Oh! Oh shit, you're right. Uh, go ahead and finish up Bossy, and then we'll jump back to Flirtle. Uh, she's not, like, res uh, weak to Radiant, right? No, she doesn't nope. seem to be. Okay. Uh, that um, was a good-ass crit for 27, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try another Stunning Strike. Um, you find she's that she is complete Oh, right, 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 right. I thought she just rolled well last time. Ah, uh, 29 is good for another 10. She's at four steps. She's beginning to reel from these blows. How much of that is fire? Uh, it's all radiant. Radiant. It's He's all radiant. Okay. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Because I'm a smart boy. As her form begins to struggle, you feel each of your blows seems to shake the entire uh, building? Whatever this is around all of you, the structure that you've all found yourselves in. You can almost feel the reality around you collapsing with her. Cool. Uh, Me? Anything else, Vasi? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, since I didn't stunning strike, I will instead spend a key point to flurry. Twenty-eight, bang, twenty-three, bang. both good for another twenty-six. All right, that it. She is still just standing, uh, and I believe that brings us back to Flirtle, who got skipped. Do I get the sense that, like, my concentration in cat bad is gone? It is. The spell has ended. Okay. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I spent a uh, 7th level spell slot. <laughs> and in the barrel next to her, I summon the land of the sea. Uh, I mean the beast of the sea. No! <laughs> Stop having Pokemon battles. <laughs> I'm a Pokemon master, okay? I have to pick up the totem first as an item interaction. Oh yeah, it, thankfully it is no longer stuck to the floor. Yeah, just grabs it. And it does three attacks. Uh, these are one damage, uh, one damage less, but okay. they have advantage. Gotcha. And they they only get three because it's seventh level. Right. I'm also at zero mana now. All right. <laughs> cool. Exactly. It was exactly ten mana to cast the seventh level spell. Uh thirty for fourteen damage. Oh wait, I had a bonus action. I'm gonna splash wa holy water on it. <laughs> oh yeah, cool. Yeah. For an extra 2d6. Uh, it's range, so it'll have disadvantage, but I think you're still probably... Oh, no, I mean, I mean, like, to, um, holify oh, it. Oh, I see, you're, yeah. to, you're holifying your back. No, your, well, uh, I didn't water. even need to bonus but it is in holy water, remember? Right, yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> sure, I meant to, why not? That's a, yeah. Uh, 30 or uh, with 14, the holy 11. water. You watch as her form begins to sizzle and she begins to shriek and scream. Uh, Flick. It is um an octopus, by the way. Perfect. Flick. Uh, the... V boy. The visage in the room with you looks at you. You would betray me like this at your own soul's peril. You'll be trapped here forever. Is that worth it, my child? If it means you won't fuck with anybody else, yeah, I think it might be. No, no, it can't be. It, it can't be. I'm not ready. It's not ready. I... Death comes for everybody. <laughs> uh, she looks panicked, and you watch as from the bottom up, she's beginning to wither away as demons do. Um... thread the maze. I will do what I must. Uh, she brings her hands together uh, and begins to turn into a a, whor a hole, a, a, a portal, like you saw happen to um, Plague Fisher. Uh, each of the rest of you sees the same thing. Uh, and you can also see in the walls of the mirrors around you uh, images of each other. Uh, what do you guys do? We're kind of out of initiative again, but... I have a panic attack because my cat bat is still here. <laughs> uh, that actually is very good. Like, okay. yeah, that would be good. Right? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna attack me four times, so they're going to die. Uh, the walls are starting to crumble around you. Uh, these holes remain. You can see reflections of each other. Uh, I pick up the barrel with my 
based of the sea and then and then overhead carry it and try and go through a mirror. Come on, Tono! <laughs> As you try to go through the mirror, it literally just crumbles like paper. Uh, the room just basically collapses around you and you find yourself free floating in space. <laughs> Still hugging the barrel <laughs> with the with the, with the fucking octopus in it. The swirling uh, images that filled all these mirrors begin to dim and they turn into just plain old mirror as they crumble. Gail, you see Flurgle literally just push through as if it was paper thin and parts of your room begin to crumble into space. I broke it, I'm sorry. Can I pop out the Crescent King and have its field of air and uh, anti-gravity field? Absolutely, good call. The Crescent King begins to form and a bubble uh, of nice, calm, breathable air emerges around all of you, thankfully. Oh... Everyone okay? Been better. Uh, after a few seconds, worse. there is this flickering green energy coming from the portal. Uh, you hear screaming. The Pale Knight screaming in pain. Uh, and you see flashes of magical energy that uh, Flick, you've encountered firsthand. Most of the others have seen it secondhand. Uh, she is being torn apart by crosswinds. You recognize the sound, Ugh. the smell, the the flash of green light. Flurgle just like, convert! Convert! <laughs> convert and be saved! I think this one's a little past saving for him. Oh, I have to try anyway. <laughs> Look at us watching the portal as she's ripped apart. It wasn't worth saving anyway. Uh, as, the burglar's pats like in the back of the cow. As she is torn apart, um, all of you do watch as this portal begins to shrink and shrink. One blinks out. Shrink. One left, and it continues to just grow smaller, smaller, smaller. Should we go in that? Is that how we get out of here? Someone know? Well, that'll take us to the crosswinds, which might kill us. The ship will protect us against the crosswinds, right? What did she say as she was was she was going? Thread the maze. She said she would try to thread the maze. We have a needle and thread, and we have a star chart. Maybe this is like knitting. Maybe, or cross-stitching. We have to follow the pattern. Could we use this to get to Ozymandias? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the star chart goes. Or did we ever figure that out? The star chart uh, is a connection between the material plane and presumably this location in hell uh, through the astral plane. It is a, a portal to portal map through the astral plane. Uh, presumably, uh, if you find a portal from hell to the astral plane, which is within her lair somewhere, this might be it, uh, then this would show you a map back to the portal, back to the material plane. Um, Can I religion check planar travel based on religious planes? Yeah, go for it. Mm, 19. 19, yeah. Uh, you would know that most gods are within what they call the outer planes. They are more distant. Um... You are almost certainly in an outer plane right now. Uh, you would know just based on what they've told you about the crosswinds and what you've learned being on the ship is that that seems to protect. Uh, it's like a bubble around the material plane and the inner planes. The elemental planes, the Feywild and the Shadowfell are all kind of contained within the crosswinds. Uh, going through the crosswinds from the inner planes to the outer planes is what would risk scrambling your soul into bits. I really hate this. I just look around physically to see if there's any other like exit to this situation anywhere uh give me a perception check okay, we gotta figure out something i'll help uh sure give me a perception check flick can i just help nordo uh yeah yeah that works yeah i have a bardic inspiration nordo Ooh. don't need it 32 Ooh. 32 is very good. Um, looking around, 
Oh boy, what would you what would you be able to tell from here? I say Nordo doesn't know jack shit about like magic or planar travel, but is there any other like portal that I can see or anything that looks like a way out of here? There there is definitely no portal that you can see. However, a 32 is very good and you begin to notice some things. Uh, the first is that way, way below you, you can make out distant geographic features and you start to realize that you might be very, very high in the air and you can see just faintly with the 32 little streams of lava and a mountain over that way. You, you begin to suspect you're still in hell. You're just way, way up in the air and you're kind of floating around. Um, you can actually see some of the crackling of lightning below you, like you're above the clouds. Um, you can also see that the fiery, swirling mess that you're in, with all the dancing glass and the shards, is crumbling away. It's withering away like a demon does when it dies. You suspect that you're in some sort of a region or a lair that is withering away as the Pale Knight leaves it, or as she dies, or whatever's happening to her. Uh, no signs of other portals, but you can reasonably guess that the... Uh, the Order of Balance is still down there somewhere. You could make that a base and then go on a quest to find a portal somewhere. Um, you would still have to find a way to deal with the crosswinds, but that's an issue that you could deal with later. Okay. Uh, with the and based on what... There is one other thing that you notice. Uh, behind her screaming and the sounds of the zapping of the crosswinds tearing her apart, you hear a slow, uh, labored, and enormous heartbeat coming from through the portal. Okay. I'll sort of like put a hand up and sort of like hush everyone and tell them to listen to it. Uh, based on what Flurgle said, we're in an outer plane, and if we go through this portal, it's likely the crosswinds are going to shred us to bits. Is that essentially yeah, what seems you... very reasonable? Unless you have a plan to deal with it, which you guys might. Do we have a way to deal with the crosswinds? We, we have a void heart. The void heart only works for one of us. I thought it made a field. No, the field doesn't extend everyone for the crosswinds thing right for the moon it just made a safe space yeah but it, not for the, the crosswinds the field uh, protects you from like element like effects of a vacuum and stuff like that but the crosswinds thing is only for the for person one. attuned does the crescent king's field protect us from the crosswinds negative um no we do have still the Emma's loom and the thread. And the needle. I was say, she planned on threading the maze. We've got the thread. Can I... I know this might be stretching what I can do with an insight check a little bit. Can I make an insight check on that, like, heartbeat? Do you have any idea what that is? Uh, absolutely. Give me an insight check. I'll throw my bardic on yeah. that. Sure. Yeah. Roll 2d12. It's not like a familiar for any reason. Yeah. Uh, Three. Four. Eighteen. Flick, you can also give me insight. Twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. Uh, and Flick, yours... Okay, perfect. Delightful. Uh, yours is twenty-one, Norda? Yes. Um, Twenty-one. Huge. Enormous. Enormous. You just fought the Pale Knight. This is not the Pale Knight's heartbeat. It is too slow, it is too biological, and it is too enormous to be hers. It is something else through the portal, uh, immediately on the other side of the portal by the sound of it. Flick. Something enormous and living is directly on the other side of this portal. It is a portal to that thing. Uh, and the okay. slow, thumping rhythm is one that you occasionally feel from the amulet around your neck. Boy, it feels from that. I'm going to try to connect to her somehow. I really don't have a way to. I forget how um, I did it before. Uh, Eat mother? By killing one of her uh, controlled children, she's able ah. to give it a short like moment of telepathic connection. Well, there's no children here. There was cut back. <laughs> I'm gonna... Okay, this is probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it because Nordor doesn't know jack shit about magic. He will uh, get his bracelet that has the gems for each of the party members on it. He'll uh, tap on the uh, nomad's uh, bead, stand as close as he can to the portal without touching it, and I'm going to cast Mind Seeker Missile on the Deep Mother <laughs> to see if she's within 120 feet. Oh no! Oh boy. Uh, okay, interesting. 
I don't know if 120 feet counts through a portal. <laughs> But Nordo's dumb enough to try. This is creative and I'm into it. I like this because it's creative. Um, and there's a little precedent with, like, the magic, uh, what is it called, magic? We have used it to find someone before, even if it didn't find uh, purchase. I am into it. Give me a spellcasting check. Oh boy, with the, like, with the items modifier? Uh, with your own modifier. Um, yeah, with your own modifier. Okay. So, uh, just wisdom. Wish I would have saved my bardic. I'll give you another one. Achoo! Body. Twenty-twelve. Seven twenty-two, even without 22? it. Yeah, twenty-two is pretty good. Even you can hold on to the bardic cure. This missile at first begins to just kind of fling itself around aimlessly. It's almost like setting off a fire rocket in indoors. It's it's a little uncomfortable how it just zips around without really having a target. Uh, for a moment, it starts to kind of veer over towards Flick, like it sniffs something on Flick. Uh, but then after a while, you watch as it whoop, through the portal. She's on the other side. I don't know if that means we're safe or not, but I hear a, a sensor. Flick would remember, but I don't. Where did she say she was? I've asked her before. Uh, absolutely. Um, she... Hell's Fly Trench, no? No, no, she no she's down by the Purgatory. Yes. Or, uh... Uh, just how, oh, that's not a ritual. Yeah, Pleiades, not Hell's Fire Strength. She calls it Purgatory. Purgatory, Pleiades, yeah. same deal. Um, specifically, and she did tell you this, uh, she told you not to approach uh, this chasm over to the west uh, because she said that she was blocking a doorway that all of the Hellions were coming out of. Oh. That means we can come out of it, though. I think Why it's a better she... bet than trying to find a different way out of the hills. Do you think she got ripped apart by the crosswinds because she d isn't allowed on the material plane? I mean, she was trying to get there this whole time. I also lost my voice. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it happens a lot. Nordo's too dumb to think about any of this, but my guess is that she... Yeah, like she was... I almost wonder if she was pulled apart by the crosswinds intentionally. Like she intends on trying to find a different way out. You'd be like threading the maze, quote unquote. Yeah, I think it's because she is native of this plane. That's all I know is the deep mother is right on the other side of the store. I can, I can hear. Yeah, I think it's her. Um, I'm gonna stick my arm through. Do you, you stick your arm through the portal? Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, you watch as Flick whoop, disappears. I'll follow right behind. You're going behind? All right. Uh oh, well, we'll die now. Wait, we have to take the ship! <laughs> Gee. Who's controlling the ship? Oh, yeah, we kind of need that. It's up to you if you. <laughs> Just floating in the water. The, <laughs> the ship is semi sentient. If you want to tell the ship, like, let the last person through, come with you or whatever, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh,. Uh, well, I mean, you can hear what's happening, so let's figure out what happens. I This was a possibility. Let's see how bad this gets. Oh, boy. What I died. Uh, Flick, you've been exposed to this before, um, so oh, let's great. see how it goes this time. Move aside. I squeeze into the um into the barrel with the octopus friend. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to pull up my table. Didn't know if I'd need this, but oh, we do. I'm very, I'm very upset now. Uh, all right. First of all, I need a charisma saving throw. Oh, you're good at those. Don't say that. You still <laughs> have bardic. That. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you have bardic. No, that's not fine. It's fine. I have a d12. It's fine. I'm super glad I saved my bardic now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You... Also. And a d4 as well. Okay. Ooh, that, that turns out to 27. Better. Yeah. You I'll also like now get. He did not die. Yeah. Now give yourself twelve temp HP. <laughs> uh, twenty-seven is incredibly good. As you are flung instantly through time and space and dimensions, you feel yourself. Um, boy, you know the scene that I'm talking about from Resident Evil, where the guy gets just like tennis racketed by a bunch of lasers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel the familiar feeling of being thrust upon the crosswinds, of having your very essence ripped from your body. Uh, 
His dick got waffled. However, a lot has changed since then. Uh, you have grown stronger. Uh, your connection has grown stronger to your friends. And you hear uh, the beating of the heart of this deep mother that has granted your powers just a little further if you can push just more. Uh, you pull yourself free. Uh, you can feel a tingle in your hands. It will probably take you five or ten minutes before you can really move your extremities again. Uh, okay. However, you land somewhere squelchy and wet and dark and seemingly in one piece. Um, looking up, you see an enormous heart uh, and you can see a little bead of pale white that is beginning to grow and grow across the surface of the heart. Nordo, give me a Christmas saving throw. Okay. I don't know if this helps at all, but before I jump in, I'll cast this on myself. Then I'll make the save. It's a good thought. It does not help you at all. Worth a try. No modifier to this saving throw, folks. You have a D12? Just a flat D12. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Roll your D12 anyway. That 19. is very good. 19 yeah. is pretty good. Uh, um, so... Can I see it? Can you see what? Uh, uh, Nordo. No, he is in the portal. You will be able to hear his reaction, like, faintly. <laughs> he, he is gone. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Nordo, I need you to roll me 3D6. Oh, no! This fine, might guys. not I can't have been die. the best idea. Yeah. Quickly discovering this may not have been the best idea. Uh, you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> um, you feel yourself flung through time and space, and as you do, time freezes for a moment as this uh, horrible green pain washes over you, but you find some comfort in the pain, almost. Uh, and you feel a tugging uh, and a grip, and you look up, uh, and you see your father, or his ghost, or his spirit, it's hard to say, has grabbed you by the wrist and is pulling and pulling. And at first it feels like he's trying to save you, something good is coming of this, he's helping you, but then you watch with horror as an image of your own hand seems to pull itself free from your wrist, being pulled with him, towards him. Um, oh god. And then you feel a jerk, and a release. Uh, and you land uh, with a splat uh, in the same dark place next to a thumping enormous heart. You see the flick is there. Uh, as you try to stand up, your entire left arm will not move. Troubling. Very troubling. Well, I lived. You did, and hello. <laughs> I, I think that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was definitely not a good idea. Was, I'll try to shout. <laughs> I lost but connection with idea. them. <laughs> I can't hear them through the telepathic link. I imagine. Uh, you do hear faintly. Do you shout? Do you guys like shout? Yeah, I shout like bad, bad yeah. idea. Bad idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, you faintly hear Nordo shouting. Bad idea. Bad idea. Well, what do you want us to do now? <laughs> do I don't know. Maybe we can find some way from over here. Also, Nordo, Oof. touch my hand real quick. He tries to lift his left hand and it won't move, so he reaches across with his right hand and touches your hand. Take 24 HP if you need it, and uh, if you're affected by a curse, it's removed. Well, this portal isn't going to stay open, so we either have to go or our fate is in your hands. Okay, who has the worst charisma saves here? It is worth mentioning. We are missing Moat and Ace, and they will have to make this very personal decision, too. If we want to pause here and wait for their responses, too, that's fine, or we can keep going. I push them both through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that Moat would want to be the last, because he can try to, like, help you. Well, I guess he's yeah. his aura is not helping. Will it not? We just need to be around um, him. If he goes through at the same time as all of you, his aura will yeah. help you. What we're going to do is we're going to huddle around them. But I want to give my last two bardics to the people with the least, like, charisma saves. So Ace. Mine's Probably Ace. Yeah. Ace and... Vasu? Probably Vasu. 
Yeah, Ace and Vasu get Bardic Inspiration. Alright, noted. Inspirations. Those are my last two. Alright. Uh, what, what, what is that boat we have to the Crescent King? Gives you nice breathable air to have your soul ripped out in. Oh, yeah. Great, great. We sail through it. All right. Does, it doesn't actually help with that part, huh? <laughs> sure doesn't. Uh, all right. Is what's, anybody what's not? Our other, uh, what's our other option? Finding a way out of hell. Yep, through the crosswinds. <laughs> uh, to be clear, the needle. The needle is your other option. Um, What's suggesting that? Why is no one listening? How, however, <laughs> there there are complications with the needle. A, you might just flat out die when you use the needle. That's a very right. real option that could happen. Um, and, just one of us, right? <laughs> and, and B, <laughs> the needle is a one of a kind, legendary, god made artifact that, uh, among other things, can be used to close other portals. Uh, like if you were to happen across a weird ritual where somebody had a portal open temporarily and you really wanted to close it to stop that ritual, it might be useful for that. You know, like an Ozymandias ritual. Right. Right. Yeah, we can hold on uh, to it for that. Uh, um, let's just all get a little bit of soul damage for the last fight, and that's, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, you know what? Mm. Resilient Sphere. <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking. But like, and I would volunteer to test it on myself, but if I go through that, I can't use it on other people. Yeah, I do. Uh, the best thing I think we have is to hug around, group hug around moat very hard and have the ship sail through. Cast pass without trace and sneak past the crosswind. <laughs> yeah, maybe they won't find us. Okay, not to trivialize here, but can the rug just, like, plane shift you back to the material plane from where you are? Um, Theoretically, be... but this is uh, one of the lower planes, and I think it fucks up because of that. Right, Gail would oh, be aware okay. that even if it was, like, an instant teleport, you're still, like, metaphysically passing through the crosswinds. Got it, got it, got it. I do have to go to work soon, so whatever decision we have, we have a minute to make it. Okay. Uh, I said, yeah, we all huddle up around moat. I'm gonna... Resilient sphere. It, I mean, technically, it only works on one creature. Uh, if I can encompass a couple of us in it, yeah, I'll go for that. But if not, prioritize yourself. What if you put of it on me I and then I wrap everybody up in my big old wings? Uh, Is that well? It might. What if we all go in Vasu's lantern and he still wants us to deal with this? Shit? I can only go in my lantern. Okay. Yeah. So the others. Oh, the the others, others was a. Gail is also a very smart <laughs> artificer who just did this check about the plane. Metaphysically, you're passing through it. Fair. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Right. The uh, girls. The rest of you. Um, we'll we'll let Ace and Moat make theirs on their own. Uh, please give me a charisma saving throw with a plus uh, five from Moat, please. Yep. Uh, Gail, I will bear in mind that you have your resilient sphere. I'm still trying to figure out how much that will help. That's oh, okay. very good. 28. You guys are fine. Uh, 32. D4s are free also. Oh, God. 25. It's pretty good. You don't I'm even gonna, need... Gonna, uh, you can uh, add a D4. I'm going to add the D4s. Cause... Yeah, I'm going to add... Like, and I still have a bardic to add to... What, 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 I might as well add a DC D4. here. I mean, I got Do we know a, what the DC is? I got a 19, and it went pretty bad for me, and it sounded like it could have gone much worse. So. Uh, Flick had a 28 and made it through fine. So I got a 23 so far. Add a d12. You, you you're one of the people. With both. Yeah, I don't want to get. Yeah. I don't. Uh, oh yeah, you're d12. You're 28. 28. You're fine. Lower than what I got. So. You got moats as well, so you're at like. Yeah, you're good you know, now, boss. You're three good now. now. Uh, the three of you guys uh, find yourselves in similarly tense, uh, hold your breath moments as you feel this energy rip through you. You can see ribs being pulled out of your body and then stuffed back in. You can feel the breath uh, sucked out of you like you'd landed too hard on your back uh, and then return and fill your lungs. Uh, and one by one, uh, you land in a dark, fleshy, squishy, damp place where a beating heart looms over you. Um, we Is it also to... moist? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Toto... Absolutely, of course Toto has a soul. Yeah. 
Toto gets a 24. 24? 24 is very yeah. good. Um, I do need 66 from Toto, though. Oh. But why? <laughs> 66? 66. More is good in this case. I was going to say, I don't okay. have 36, so yeah. I think you're good. Yeah, you're looking for more dice here. We're seeing how much of his soul remains intact. Do have anything else that I can get? Is that me, Toto? This big boy. It's Has me. more soul than Nordo? It's worth mentioning, <laughs> even if Toto's entire soul was ripped out of him, he would still function just like Toto currently does. You wouldn't you notice shut the difference. shut your dirty <laughs> fucking mouth. That's the most unethical thing I've ever heard you say, Fick. Yeah. 22. Uh, Toto... 22% of his soul remains. <laughs> Uh, Toto lands on the other side and has a little bit of trouble wagging his tail uh, for, for for the time being. That's his best feature. Uh, well, it's droopy for a little time. We'll I'll just take out the thing that makes it wag and put in a new one. When he, how much of Toto can you get rid of until he's not Toto anymore? That's not saying, man. Um... Flick, you hear a voice in your mind, telepathic to the Deep Mother. You have done so well. I need you to end it. Do not let her take me. I have done all I have to do. Now you must as well. Right. I I'm sorry it has to end this way, but... I'm not. We will all live on. Thank you. I'll just, yeah, go for it. It's right here. It's right there. It has, yeah. Um, with a quick draw across, uh, blood begins to pour out from this heart. Uh, you hear the faint screaming of the Pale Knight, her last chance at inhabiting anything. Uh, finally, for the first time, setting foot with her own spirit inside a mortal body, whatever remains of her spirit. Um, and it begins to wither. Uh, rapidly, you feel the entire enormous body of this leviathan around you begin to convulse uh, and twist. Um, and uh, we'll figure out how you guys get out of the inside of the dying uh, deep mother next time. <laughs> so now it's time for the rug. Now it's time for the rug, possibly. <laughs> um, we can... Just, we can crescent king out of here it's fine oh that actually probably would really work if you <laughs> just tear a hole on the side it's of the deep mother we, we, we just we just pinocchio it and ride the boat out of its mouth um that sure. actually is completely reasonable i think if you have some firepower to punch a hole yeah we just have to get out of the chest cavity yeah um we're in railroad mode let's do it you guys uh, boot up some firepower, a few spells here, maybe some cannons, some gunfire from Gale, uh, and burst free from the chest cavity of the Deep Mother, uh, and find yourselves deep, deep under the dark ocean. Uh, and as you look back, uh, you watch as the body of the Deep Mother, who for the first time I believe you see up close, this enormous creature, uh, this colossal shelled beast, uh, digs her way up out of the hole with these two enormous claws, uh, and you watch as the life of the sea, the life of the ocean, sharks, whales, fish, uh, eels, uh, begin to do their due diligence uh, and devour her corpse uh, before it can spread, before the Pale Knight can do anything untoward with it. Um, and although you're too far now to Fargo hear the screaming, uh, you hear uh, in your heads the Pale Knight's dying gas uh, as her plans to uh, push her way onto the material plane uh, have come to an end. Uh, off in the distance you see the faint blue of Pleiades uh, and you know of a gate that will take you back to the surface from there uh, and presumably head that way uh, to begin preparing for the final confrontation uh, deep beneath the hook. <gasps> Let's see how the people are doing here. Near does, my, homeland. does my magic feel any different? Um, it certainly it? might. I'm gonna have to figure out how that works. Okay. Does Jerry have a welcome banner for everyone? <laughs> he 
might. I don't think he's prepared for this. But... Congratulations. He's prepared for everything. <laughs> uh, but that is where we'll pick up. Um, again, we're going to have at least a couple weeks off for MFF and then possibly Christmas after that. So it might be a little bit before we get back to do the final battle. Um, he has two banners. One is congratulations. Another is my condolences. <laughs> he was head. <laughs> Just in case. Excellent. All right, gang. I'll see you most of you. I'm at to work. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Bye. So play. Figure out what's going to happen next. Do oh. we level up? Yeah, we level up right in 21. You guys are 20. Congratulations. Woo. It's 25 uh, now. <laughs> no, not 25. Yeah.